Morning, guys. How are we doing? Uh, we're going to go early today. Um, not sure if a minute's going to be online or not, but hey, we're, good. we're just going to go for it this morning. We're just going to uh, sneeze in. Hang on. Bless me if you caught the end of that. I tried to mute, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to get on the community farm, have a little look about, and uh, yeah, do some jobs. Um, so right now, I suppose, just get you on the gaming screen. Morning guys, how you doing? Right, let's check that these are working. How you doing? Um, of course, we're listening to Simulator Radio. It is Otto. Um, we're on field 50 of the Oaks and we're doing some bailing. Um, to be honest, I was going to see how these go and see what the delivery points are on these. Atrianic, good morning, how you doing? Um, so farm productions, uh, well, yeah, we're just going to have a look at them. Farm productions, what we're we doing, we're doing, we're doing silage, aren't we? Silage to farm productions. So that's silage to farm productions. We just want to activate that. Um, that's Ted in. Uh, silage to farm productions. We just want to activate that. And that one, that's silage to farm productions as well. So we just want to activate that. So we've got four jobs to crack on with. Um, all the same thing. It's cut grass, wrap it, take it to farm productions. So we just, just we're going to cut four fields. We're going to wrap, we're going to bale four fields. We're going to wrap four fields. We're going to pick up four fields. Quite simple, really. It's a repetitive action, but hey. Let's go. Right, that's that, that's that, that's that. Make sure the baler is on swath dropping. It is. Right, let's crack a lacking on. Might help if I put the fucking mowers down, Matt. Hello, you gotta put mower down. There we go. It was on the wrong action. Never mind. We'll, we'll get that other bit that we missed in a minute. Anyway, like I said, morning, nature order. How you doing? Um, I've gone online and found a uh, metadata and meta metadating changer for that song. So hopefully, the next time I'm on and I play it, it will come up with the right name and stuff. Um. Not bad, it's a Monday. Oh, yeah. Monday morning blues. Um, and like I say, keep an eye on Luke's when he plays it. Because his might have the same problem. But he's got... I know he has his own software for metadata. So if you've got the... Uh, <clears throat> if you've got the Monster the Oaks guys, you can come join me, do some stuff for me. Uh, your starting screen says screen ending. Was on the wrong one. <laughs> Never mind. If that was a thing, guys, yeah. Sorry. But yeah, it's a thing. I'm half. I'm half. I'm half asleep this morning, or half awake, depending on which half you like. But anyway, good morning, minute morning. How you doing? Mad Alex, good morning. How are you doing, sir? It's Monday Blues. Minute. Damn, man. I'm getting you mixed up again. Sorry, midnight. Fuck, man. It's early. I've been streaming it at, like, um, mid-afternoon, after average. You know? Just lately. So, yeah. Brain not quite working this one. It'll kick in gear. Just wait till I finish my first coffee. Oh, it hit the fucking tree. Come on. 
You can do this. Well, it's even earlier for you, dude. It's what, is it one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning? No, it's not like me. It's what, quarter to eight here. About two ish. Yeah. So, like I say, guys, we got four fields to cut, bale, and all that jazz. Um, and then, if we choose to, if we get that done, there's another three, I think, to t bale and Ted. So, oh, missed a bit. Missed a bit. I don't miss shit. I don't. I don't know why. I, it's. I don't know whether it's. I've got part OCD or some shit, but literally every single strand of grass I will that I can cut in this field, it will be cut. I don't miss shit. I don't miss nothing. Like I say, I don't know whether I got part OCD when I do shit like this, but you know, it's just a thing that I do. And I do like using the big M big M mower to do this stuff with, you know. Um, Mainly because the mowers are so close together, so you can turn tighter um, and stuff. So what we'll do is we'll, after we've done this field with the mowers, we'll look at the map, see what field um, is closest to us that's next that will be flashing. And then we'll just put the mower there, go get a tractor and a baler. And, um, yeah, come back up and, and bail it. And then we'll have to come back over with a wrapper, because I'm sure we've got the chrome balers on this one. So the chrome balers, a little square baler, guys, with no wrapping capability added on. Um, they've, if you have the straw pack, um, they're in there, they're part of that as well. Um, very, very cheap if you have that mod on. Uh, 9,000. So, and they're very, very, very good baler. Um, does 220 bales quite nicely, which um, with straw is 800, uh, no, I think 8,250 litres per bale, I think it is. So, not small bales, but not massive either. Right, we're just going to do one, one more, one more, is that enough for a turnaround, you think? think that, that might be enough for a turnaround, you know? Yeah, it'll be enough. Right, let's see if we can get a bit of this on. Need a bit of what? I can't see fuck all. A bit of this on. Um... We're also going to turn this on because I like it. Um, right, so we're going to go this way first to my left first when we cut. Just to get that done and then we'll resume on the path. Uh, this mod's VCA mod, vehicle control add-on. It's, uh, it's like GPS on steroids if you've never used it. Uh, we found it, I say we found it, Mr. Handy and Tab found it um, a few months back and yeah, we've, we've not stopped using it since, to be fair. It, it's just that good. Nope. No, 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 no. Move over your shit. There we go. There we go. That's where I wanted you. It's just I was trying to do it while I was in reverse. So it's kind of getting mixed up. It's kind of going, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You're in reverse, you prick. But vehicle control add-on means that a lot of the time, guys, when we're doing stuff like this, 
which is just a quick up, easy up and downs. We can talk to you instead of having to worry about, oh, we're coming to the end. We need to turn the steering wheel. We don't need to turn the steering wheel. All we need to do is press a button and it turns for us and gets exactly in line. It's a bit wiggly sometimes if you overspeed the turns, but yeah, just go watch yourself. Right, so when I do this bit, I don't deactivate it, so the lines stay where they are on the screen. They just turn white because I unlock it. Which means, as you can see, they're moving over with me. And then when I get to this bit here, I line up myself with the middle. Line up myself with the middle, he says. And then I press reactivate. No, okay, reactivate, no. Come on, I should be close enough now, stupid ass. There we go. You love VCA? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Well, let's slow that down to about 10. That'll do. Morning, Chucky, how you doing, my love? Checky, if you're um, awake enough, I'm on the community farm this morning. I know you have the mods for it. Um, but I know also you um, need to get ready to walk the kids to school as well. Uh, sleepy and feeling sick, but you'll be okay. Damn, man. Something you ate or just, you know, just feeling under the weather? It's normally the first thing people turn to, guys, when somebody says, I'm feeling sick. It's normally, was it something you ate out of the ordinary or, you know, it's, a, it's an easy go-to, isn't it? Right, we'll go as far down here as we can before we hit the turn button about there. Ah, uh, yeah, slightly too late, I think. Uh, the cough I've had has got worse and it's making me feel sick. Ooh, a cough and making you feel sick. I would really maybe take a COVID test. Could be. Might not be, but could be. I know you don't really go out except to go to school and go shops and stuff, but you never know, just one exposure, that's all it could take. Uh, can't get them here anymore. Yeah, I know a lot of the a lot of the places now you have to um, have to either be in that bracket to get them for free, or um, you have to buy them from the shop, and they're quite expensive from the shop. They're about sixteen pound for eight or ten or whatever it is in the box. Are you trying to bury that biscuit I've just given you? Me? In your bed. <laughs> uh, I've got bad cough that won't go away. I've had it. Um, I've had it since COVID, but it ain't long COVID because I don't have any any other symptoms. I still check you, mate. I really would. You know, it's worth just taking a test. You know, the test what takes 15 minutes, the new ones. Just take a test. If you're positive, you know, don't you? And then you can, then you can isolate yourself. If not, you, you're sort of wondering, is it in it? Is it in it? You know, sort of thing. Um, can't even buy them here. Damn. Yeah, I know it's um, since all the COVID jabs, they sort of like, I don't know, totally relax the COVID rules, which I think is stupid. You know, I had COVID, what was it, three, four months ago, five months ago, maybe. And I was down really bad with it. Um, so for basically for nine days, I couldn't do shit. You know, even coming up at my computer was bad. I appreciate some of you might have ads about now, so I'll wait.
living person in my face. Somebody close to me. I can't believe Patrick Swayze actually sang this. You're out of my league. Just a fool to believe I am everything she needs. She's like the wind. Anyway, you should be back from Mads right now. Yeah, Mad Alex, I'd still get yourself checked, mate. Really would. Just in case, and then you know. Can't buy them anymore. Laugh out loud, Domino does that, and then Dirt digs them up uh, from whatever. Dirt digs them up from whatever he's hidden, then. Eats them while he's out of the room. Yeah, yeah. Check even buy them on Amazon. We've had to do that in the past. I think it's always handy to have a box. Uh, no problem. The only annoying bit is that the the ones you used to get given for free. Yeah, I know, isn't it? So you but you're buying the ones that you. We you, like you say we used to get given on a on a fucking daily basis. You go to you go to supermarket and it's here. Have a box of this here. Have a box of that. Mate, we've got about six or eight boxes around where we kept going to supermarkets. Going yeah, we'll have another box. We'll have another box, just in case some shit like this happens. Kaiser, good morning. How you doing? But I'm just lucky enough that the wife's in that bracket that um she's in the critically vulnerable, and we we. We still get them for free if we need them. Oh, it is very muggy here today. I'm going to turn one of my fans on. That is um, pointing straight at my PC. Why? Because it's freaking warm. <laughs> oh, what's the point of bot on? There it is. There we go. Um, I was never in that bracket. Bit tired, but okay, thanks. How about you? I'm good. Uh, you can still apply through the government website for them if uh, you are, yeah, immunization compromised, which means your um, your 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 body's protection barrier is shite, which is exactly what the, how my wife's is. Um, she catches codes and shit like a drop of a hat or uh, uh, sort of like barrier of protection is zero it's very warm mm. I'm going to even turn my other fan that's pointing at me on actually oh it's better anyway guys we're on the community farm of the oaks it's a four times map um, the guys have uh, got a massive farm grown uh, over the over the ways, yes, I've changed that now on my buttons as well. I rem I remembered. Just as fucking well, yeah. But I, Chucky, I was the first one to have so I got for the command, wasn't I? But nobody else wanted to change, and then all of a sudden. I change it back, everybody changes to SOAG for the command. It's like, what? Come on, give me a chance. So we're, going, we're doing a couple of grass contracts, guys. We're um, mowing. Um, uh, we're going to bail and then wrap. And then come pick them up. They're all for the same drop area. Um, so we should finish this quite easily. Um, I could do with one of the, uh, the farm manager or Tav coming on um, because we're filling up on the completed contracts and I'm not sure which ones they want to save and which ones uh, what time am I on to? I'm going to be on to, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock something like that I'll probably be on till Tav comes, goes live you know so I'll probably be on till 11 
while you're gonna do the kid thing and then pop on, Jackie, are you? If you do, very good, very nice. Right, that's field number one done. Uh, okay, depending on my doctor's appointment, I may be able to pop on. Yeah, no worries, Jackie, don't feel like you got to. Right, let's turn that off. Let's see where we gotta go. Um, so this is the Oaks map, guys. We've got two kind of different farms going. Um, so we've got like a production kind of animal bit there and then the main farm here. Um, right, so we are over here. Where are we going next? Um, any, we're here. So cut that road to there. Anything there? No. Anything there? No. Anything there? No. Anything over near the shop? No, no, no. So we're coming out and going down. Why is none of them flashing? Uh, so we got 50, which were on 72, 87, 89. 72, 87, 89. 87 must be down here. And 89 must be down here as well. Where the fuck's 89? Oh, over there. So we got two at the bottom. And what was the other one? 70, 76, was it? 72. Where's 72? They are flashing. Yeah, I just couldn't see them. 72. There's 71. 72 is there. So if we come out of here, take a, well, if we come out of here and go straight past the main farm, take a left, that should take us to 72. And then we can come down this road here to get to the other two. Well, I say the other two. I don't know how you get into that. I'm hoping this is a road just below 12 and 83. I'm hoping that's a road or a laneway or something. Otherwise, I think you've got to come in through 12, maybe. I don't know. So yeah, we'll we'll come out. We'll go up this road. We'll take a left. Go all the way to the junction. Take a right. I mean, to be honest, I could if I didn't know my way round. Oh, just click for the auto drive to drive it there. <coughs> Through the hedge. I know you could drive for the hedge, Chucky. I don't like dude. I don't know why I just don't like driving through hedges on stream. You know what I mean? Oh, hello. Oh, excuse me. Why are you showing me the back of this? There we go. Um, There's a road above 12, which takes you through the forest of 89. Um, I may be stuck in a car. Well, that's a shit up view in reverse, isn't it? View the seat. You just did? When? Uh, left here. You can't mow that, sir? What, that car? No, probably not. Maybe they had a... No, I'm not going to say it. Oh, that's that's disgusting, Matt, what you were thinking about then. What's on? So there's two machines turned on. I don't know what they are. Lizard, 5-3 something cheap, and the Homer T4 custom. I don't know what they are. But when somebody goes out, nothing should be on. Game step on the gas because I don't want to miss this. I will test that song later on, Atriana, because nobody's on till 6 pm to the sink. So if I go online, I'll definitely test that song. Don't want to miss this. Don't know what time I'll be on, on radio, probably after I finish on the farm. 
So we're just passing the farm. It's just on our left now, the main, like the productions area of the farm. Uh, there's a little laneway which goes off to our left now, which goes in between the two. And then, yeah, we're past the main farm just up here. So this is kind of the entrance to the main farm. Let's turn that off till we get to the field because we don't know which ways it is. Another gate to the farm that we just passed. So we can actually turn left at this next junction. And then we just got to find the gate to the field. This isn't a very big field. I'm not expecting it to take long to mow it. Um, we might just cut this whole field freehand. I don't want to miss this. Okay, so here's 72 coming up now on the right. So we just got to find the gate to get in. Well, there is no gate, but this, it would just be an opening. Is it up there? It looks like it's up there. I need... I think I just spotted it as we were passing the entrance to the road. Yeah, here it is. All right, outside view for mowing. So we can see where the edge of the fields are. Oh, I say see where the edge of the fields are. It looks like somebody's extended where the edge of the fields is. So, yeah, this bit might be a pain. Because we're not going to, we're going to have to try and mow right to the fucking edge. I hate having a mow right to the edge. Why? Because it's very unrealistic. It's very not realistic, is it? Mowing right to the edge. Because no farmer in his right mind would have you mow right to the edge of the field because he wouldn't be able to get his baler in afterwards or whatever he's doing with it. You know? So I'm not going to cut this right to the edge. I'm going to stay as close as I can, but not to the edge. And that'll do. Uh, making a well-needed cuppa. Anyone want one? Yes, please. Love one, love. Jeez. Sound like freaking Miss Moon then, don't I? I'd love one, love. Black for me? Nah. I'm, I'm kind of a weird person to make tea and coffee for. So anything I have is major, major weak. I don't know why, it's just the way I like drinking tea and coffee. So it's major, major weak and lots of sugar. Jeho. I don't like... Well, I tell a lie. I do like strong coffee, but it has to be real coffee, not instant. Jeho. And when I say real coffee, I don't mean Tassimo coffee. Uh, I mean proper, if I can make it from a bean coffee. That's the only way I'll drink str strong, strong coffee. I have to go this way to get tight in the corner. I don't think we're going to get tight, tight though. Really don't. It, well, we kind of will, but we cheated it. Instant yuck. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, Midnight, you, bean coffee over there compared to over here is real, real cheap. You have Dow Egberts. Yeah, that, that's nice. It's kind of the closest... It's kind of the closest coffee you can get over here that's an instant that tastes like close to percolated or proper bean coffee uh, I usually love uh, just black coffee no frills from Dolce Gusto to be honest we've had both Dolce Gusto and Tassimo in the past and to be fair, we kind of like 
Tassimo, just for a quick cover copy. Um, even though you can buy these very, very cheap um, look-alike pods for the Dolce Gusto machines. But some of them just, I don't know, they just don't taste right. So what we used to do is we used to buy um, the main pods from Dolce Gusto. And if we needed like extra milk creamers, buy them as fakes. Um, whatever Turkish Egyptian style coffee is amazing. Never tried it. Uh, served in a glass straight from the bean. Uh, really strong. This stupid as amounts of sugar. Oh yeah. Uh, got a load mine with sugar and creamer. Yeah, that's the thing with bean coffee. It, you know, if you have it with milk, it, I don't know, it tastes funny. So yeah, you kind of got to have creamer with it. I feel. I mean, it's all to do with individual tastes, but you know, if you're gonna have bean coffee, you got you got to have creamer, not milk. And yeah, because I like it sweet, tons of sugar, tons of sugar. Oh, Mr. Bit, uh, you can you can for Tassimo as well, from the company I use. Hey, Triana, send me the link. Because we've been trying to find a cheaper, um, cheaper place to get them. Are they any good? Because um, obviously most of the Tassimo ones have got cup size on. And a lot of the ones I drink are like tall cup ones, like big cup ones. Um, so that when I use my cup, which is like three sizes, you know, it's like... Um, it's like three times a mug so if anybody's got if anybody got the birthday mug from the vtc it's kind of like three 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 of them in one cup i've got two mugs is that the same size um i've been using them for 18 months um now for Dolce gusto they're xl you think xl grande mm-hmm there's nothing like going into the shop and going, do you have any of the large ones? Fucking love it. Right, that little pause, guys, is just um, the save delay. So I'm just going to go over here, line up the old thing. 75 different types of pods for Tassimo. Just checking out. Sweet. Yeah, send me the link, love. And uh, I'll get the wife to have a look next time. Next time we need to order some. Because, uh, like I say, seven, eight quid, seven, eight quid a time for Tassimo at the moment. Right, so we'll activate that. And we'll... Can't fucking see. Get out of the way, tree. Jeez. Let's shift over a little bit. That'll do. 80 pods for 21 quid. That's decent. You can argue with that. Considering that, like, what is it? 10 pods is like £7 for, for in on with the Tasma ones. I mean, you, can, you can't argue with that sort of, that sort of pricing. Right, let's put that on 10 speed. Uh, so anyway, guys, today's Wraith is... I didn't have yesterday afternoon's Wraith. By the time I felt like having it, it was too late. RG Berry. We were supposed to have that one last night. To be honest, I might change it for that ginger beer one and see what that's like. Tav says it's good. Um, I say ginger beer one. Ginger. Fiery, gin yeah, fiery ginger beer. Tav said it's nice. Minute says it's nice. But let's have a crack at it, innit? Just messaging me on Discord. Thank you very much, love. 
depreciate it. Let's say I'll pass it, pass it along to the wife, so we'll have a look at it. Right, let's put that in the maybe pile for a minute. Why on the maybe pile? Because I don't know if I like it. <laughs> Basically, what I've been doing with the, with, the, with the trier pack, or the streamer pack, whatever you want to call it, is I've been putting them in little piles of what I like and what I don't like. Um, and there's one questionable one which is okay, but I don't know whether I like it or not. It's kind of one of them. Mm, it's not horrible, it's not great. Playing a bit of orange. Um, yeah, so we're going to try this fiery ginger beer. Now, normally I don't like ginger. I say I don't like ginger. I kind of do, but kind of don't at the same time. Um, you know, I'm I'm partial to a ginger biscuit, but I don't go out of my way to buy them sort of thing. So, yeah, it's a thing. Right, here we go. got a tang to it <clears throat> yeah definitely got a uh, it's definitely got a kick to it so it's definitely fiery hello baby daddy's all right i know daddy was coughing daddy's fine good girl good girl what you can't have any not for you it's not for you Silly dog. Silly sausage, isn't you? Hmm? Silly sausage. <sighs> I think this one's going on the maybe pile. We'll move it if we, we change our minds, but definitely going on the maybe pile. i tell you what it's like. It's tr like eating a... I don't know, like a hot curry and that in the fact that you get like a, an instant kick of, I don't know, like the spice or something. I don't know how to describe it. And then you get the flavor of like gradually come in. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a maybe for me at the minute. Uh, wish me luck this afternoon. I've, uh, got Domino at the vets. He's going to need an operation. Damn man. Any time the dog has to visit, visit the vet, it's a bad time. Not because, um, you know, obviously you, you wish your dog well and, and shit. Because uh, it's just, you know, your dog's your friend. The same as if you've got cats. Your cats are your friends and, you know, you crawl up and and stuff. If the, if the dog likes the vet, then all well and good. I mean, ours loves our vet. It's, it's fun. To, you know, she's fantastic. Love it. What? Are you being needy? Are you being needy? Keep jumping up and paw with me. You being needy? You needy girls morning? Hmm? Don't look at daddy like that because you're all puppy eyed and it's, it's melting. <laughs> Don't know, has an attitude. You, yeah? My little girl has an attitude. Don't you? Don't you? You have an attitude. Do you want to come up and say hello? Do you want to come up and say hello? Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. No? Okay. Bollocks here. You want to come and say hello to everybody? Playing. I'm not playing. I'm not. I'm playing farming. I'm not playing with juice morning. Just want some camera time. Yeah. <laughs> Two point five kilo. Ours is um. Oh, that's your smaller one, isn't it? What? What? You've been need very needy, dog. You really are. You've been very very needy. Me? Eh? Hello, hello, hello. You've been very very needy. Yes, you are. What? What? Come here then. Don't run away, you daft twat. I'm not... No, no, it's not Zoomies time. No, it's not Zoomies time. Get down, get down. <laughs> uh, you've not given her a second breakfast yet? Yes, she's had... She's, had, she's got her biscuits down. She's had her gentle treat, as always, in the morning. Get down! She's been good... Um, because she's a little dog, we don't... I mean, we take her out every day, but we don't take her out, like, twice, three times, four times a day. 
Um, so we've got puppy training pads down uh, all over the place. And anytime she does a business on the puppy pad, obviously we give treat. And so she's just had a treat for that, which is the, which is the treat she's just tried to bury in her bed. Um, yeah, so it's, no, so we've nearly finished this field and then we've got to try and find our way down to the other two, which, um, somebody said there was a road down, um, Uh, trying to convince you that um, you didn't give her a treat yet, possibly. Um, so we're up here, so we need to come out of here, go round there, down. Down to the roundabout, or down to here, it doesn't matter which. Well, I suppose if we come down to the roundabout, we can come down to 87 that way. So if we go out of the field, turn right, take the next left, go straight over. Where's the field entrance over here, Matt? I know I can go out of the hedge, but I try not to on stream, like I say. But off stream, I'd be going through the hedges. I really would. So it's a right here. And then a left at the next junction down straight over at the roundabout. Don't scratch at the bedroom door waking mummy up. Um, so the wife managed to stay in her chair for a few hours last night so um it's, she's looking better um she does need a, uh, an operation on her mouth to totally get rid of the problem that um so you know it's not it's not gone yet but like i say she's looking better um i'm hoping that we get a letter or something in the post with a date for so she can go um because obviously it's more time off work for me. Not that I'm, I look forward to time off work, but oh, hello, is that the way? This yes, way, yeah. But I know it. I know the day's coming where um, I'm going to have to give up work for the wife anyway. And I think this week that I've been off already has just kind of showed her that I can be here. I can do the stuff that she normally does and help out, so just she doesn't have to worry. Um, because before she was like, you don't do shit, you don't do this, you don't do that, you know, you don't help out, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, well, at the moment, love, I don't have the time and energy to actually do anything. You know, I go to work for nine, ten hours a day and I come home and I'm fucked. I know I only drive a bus, but, you know, it's mentally fucking draining. To deal with assholes all day and to drive for that amount of time. Okay, so we're getting near the, what, the the third field we have to do. Um, yeah. And then we have to find our way over to 89, which should be fun. Right. Which way in is there? Is, is the entrance down there? Doesn't look like it. Um, so the field's right next to us. I oh, hear it is. Oh, it's got a gate. Wow. <laughs> Fucking useless reversing camera that is. Um, I don't know whether to go in and just do an opposite way round lock thing. Because of course we're going to have to get on this with the baler. So, you know, I don't want to go in too far, too tight straight away. Okay, I think maybe that's good enough. So I think that's good enough and I'm tight to a tree. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this one's got a, ooh, a grass edge on, even though I hit the tree on that one. So yesterday was quite interesting. What the fuck am I hitting? I'm sure I'm off of that. Yeah, that was strange. I was way off of the fucking hedge. So, 
yeah, yesterday was interesting when we had Grizz in convoy with us. And for some reason, I was hitting invisible barriers and he wasn't. It's doing the same there, isn't it? With that tree. S strange. Where's... Okay. All right, I see it. I see it. I see it. The, that tree is slightly in the field more, not on the hedge. I'm still hitting it. Jeez. Where the fuck's the edge of this fucking tree? There we go. We're around the edge of it now. Nicely designed to catch you out. I, to be honest, I don't think the guy knows that's, that that tree's there. Because otherwise, why isn't it in the hedge with the rest of the fucking trees? You know? Uh, yeah. You know? You know what I mean? Hate cutting in this fucking view. But it's a must. Uh, well, what happened to the Stevie Winwood version? Um. I think that's the version we had before when we did this as a community farm and it broke in multiplayer. Is it, this isn't our first time of having this map as a multiplayer um, or a community map, but we had a version before that. Uh, good morning, Daz. How are you, dude? Uh, I'm doing well. Guys, it's Daz HD90. Um, he's the guy who told us that um, the Moza CS2 wheel version 2 with the thumbsticks works with SnowRunner. And I am very excited um, and will be very excited when I finally do start upgrading to the Moza equipment. There's another fucking tree that's in the middle of the field. I hate this field. It's stupid. Whoever designed this is just, I don't know, thick as shit in my eyes. Anyway, there's one round. They obviously didn't look at cutting this. You know, as a grass field, they obviously didn't look at cutting it. Because there's two trees that are, two, three, four trees that's in the middle of the field that you have to drive around. It's like I said, it's stupid. You know, there's one here sticking out, just there to my right. I think there's another one here. It's the same type of tree as well, so he's obviously misplaced putting it down. There's another one here. You know, it's obviously a misplacement because it's. I think it's supposed to be in the hedge. Um, not that I can't chop it out of the way. I don't think. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. To get the fucker gone. What I'll do is I'll report it to Mr. Handy that it's like it on 87 and see if he can do anything about it because it would be an advantage if they weren't there kind of a thing. So I think we'll come down this way when we do the um, VCA mod stuff. And very good morning to you all. Nice to see you all in. Um, I'm on the community farm, the Oaks. Uh, if any of you are part of the community farm, you can come on. Uh, well, you can always come on and help. It's open 24 hours a day. Uh, and like the message says in chat, if you'd like to come onto the community farm, just uh, join the SOAG Discord, guys, if you're not already. Go into the farming section and ask for permissions to the community farm. It's that simple. Here's another tree, look, and you can just see the roots of it are right in the field, not in the hedge. Right, what we'll do is we'll 
just go around this top edge uh, and then when we get to the long bit we'll put VCA on uh, right gotta go just get sorted uh, to get the wee man to school uh, we'll catch you later yeah Chucky if you feel up to it and after you took the wee man school if you come on yeah, yeah your help would be greatly appreciated if you're up to it and yeah stay safe love stay warm and stay hydrated right I mean people ask me you know I know you're a Moser partner but do you really need a wheel upgrade the answer is no not really why because for what I do which is basically farm sim and ETS my will is good enough but don't tell the wife that because like I say I want to upgrade and if she thinks I don't need it she won't let me have it <laughs> but yeah for like I say farm sim ETS ATS bit of snow running my wheels as good as I'm ever going to need or actual power in the wheel um, but I know I can upgrade bits at a time so um, so at first you get the beginner kit which the beginner kit which is a the motor a standard wheel and a two pedal set and then for 45 pound no i think it's a little bit more for 55 pound you can buy the third pedal and an upgrade kit for the brake this is mad matt matt needs this wheel upgrade it will make him drive so much better she doesn't give a shit about my gaming, dude. <laughs> she, be, she begrudged me upgrading to this wheel from the from the Logitech. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this fiery ginger beer, guys. I really don't. It's not for me. I mean, I'll finish it, but it's not for me. It's definitely in the other pile. Like I say, a lot of this when, you know, me, minute, average, come on and tell you about what Rafe we're drinking. Links in chat and code. You know, it's all down to personal taste where, that, where average loves the, the fiery ginger beer. So does minute. It's not for me. And some of you will go, well, why are you still drinking it? It, the aftertaste of it the actual taste of the ginger isn't bad it's just the I think it's the shock of the spice um, it's the only way I can describe it the spice when you first take it, when you first get that hit when it goes into your mouth that's the bit that's knocking me knocking the taste buds out going nah it's not for you dude So after this guys we just got to make our way or try and make our way over to 89 which is over to our left i think and i think somebody said just below the forest there's a laneway fascination fascination it's just the way you be and then we'll get the baler out we're going to bail all these and then we've got to get the wrapper out and wrap all of them and then we shall get the truck and trailer out because that holds the most stuff. Um, and maybe there's bales left over for us. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. Um, and hopefully one of the team leaders are in and we can see how many of these contracts we can get rid of because there is... I think there's like nine contracts in the list right now and they most of them have been completed 
It's just these four that are not complete. Fascination is just the way you be. Whoa, whoa. Do like a bit of Alpha Beat. Some of their stuff's really, really good. So, what did everybody have for breakfast? Um, I had coffee and biscuits, same as I kind of what I normally do. Well, I'm not working. So I had coffee and biscuits and me Rafe, which I'm not enjoying. If I'm totally honest with myself, I'm not enjoying, and I know a lot of you will say, well, check it away then. No, I got to give it a chance. Uh, not had anything yet. Coffee and bacon and sausage bagel. Oh, does. Got to come in and spoil every fucker's day, ain't you, with that shit? <laughs> hmm. uh, I've had two jobs. Uh, I have to do each week, weekday morning before I can have breakfast. Okay, so let's try and find our way into this road. So let's have a quick jobby at the map. Um, so what did what did somebody say? There's a road here underneath 83 and 12. No, between 1 and 12 on it, down this way, near the forest, or near this forest. No, above 12. Okay, so you go from 85, and there's a laneway down this way. Is that what I mean, yeah? On that bend, there's a gate that takes you through the forest. Okay, cool. So we come out of here, go south. Uh, if we turn right, turn right again, over the top of 86. I'm hoping this is a lane there, and then we shall see once we get there. Hello, dear. La 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 la, here we go. Oh, rocking all over the world. One of the bands I wish I saw when they came down to my neck of the woods. I do a lot. Of, oh, hello. I do like quite a lot of the status quo stuff. He still hasn't got the freaking blue lines to the road lined up that good, has he? What you gotta do? All right, is that a road right in front? Oh, it's a laneway, that'll do. So that'll take us part the way over. Lagging, 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 la 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 lagging. La 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 la, here we go, oh, rocking all over the world. And then we need to take a... Then we need to take a right somewhere up here. Uh, somewhere here, take a right. Whoop, and go up this way. And H Sharma says there's a gate just up here on the right. Where's a house? Oh, here. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see it, I see it. And that will take us down into the field. La la la, here we go. Oh, rocking all over the world. No, not that field, map. Not that field. Uh, don't take the first left, that's back to field 12. I mean, that, that turn I just took there. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going, but the field's over that way. Okay. Nope, that's field 12. <laughs> I hope it turns right and comes back down again, because at the moment we're heading north. Oh, this left here. Okay, gotcha. I gotcha. Wow, that's an odd way down to the field. 
That's a very odd way to end up build. Ah, here's the field. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, this is a good song. I like this song. Maybe uh, the quiet lad, a tick tock tune. Yeah, kind of. To be honest, that's where I first heard um, Dash's uh, song, or Dash's song, um, on TikTok. And it, I kind of listen to it all the time now. Ooh, I'm guided by the light. I can see you to see your touch. Mm. Anyway, welcome in. Thank you for your first time chat. I think we need to buy this field. Why? Because I think because of the where the trees are, I don't know whether this is the end of the map where we are, but it could be extended down. I think this is the end of the map though. No, it could be extended down because like, it runs beside 84. Oh. Yeah, I think it could be extended all the way down there by the looks of uh, the map. Because, like I say, 84 is right beside this, running even further down. I do sit there till I see your touch. Ooh. Right, let's watch out for these stupid trees. <clears throat> a long grass field. Yeah, oh yeah. This, the Oaks dude, has got a very good mixture of long fields small fields like i say it's a very good mixture undulating it's kind of everything you, you want out of a out of a farm uh and in, in, in our community's eyes anyway that little stop start thing that's just a or that's just the auto save that's not anything serious <laughs> We shall do two rounds, as always, and then we shall put um, the VCA mod on. And once again, guys, if you are got nothing to do, please pop to my YouTube channel. Because any of one of my Twitch videos that makes it over 100 views after I go offline uh, gets put on my YouTube channel. And if you could pop across there, watch it for about a minute, give it a thumbs up, comment with emoji, anything that you can do over there. Uh, it all makes a difference to YouTube. I mean, really makes a, a difference. Um, so, if I'm still off towards, well, middle to the end of this week, um, we should be going on TMP Pro Mods. Um, why? Because I love it on TMP Pro Mods. In fact, that's where I prefer to truck, to be fair. Yeah, anyone wanting to join me is quite welcome to do so. Um, you just need the base pro mod stuff that go into TMP pro mods. You don't need to activate them in game. The uh, the the TMP software will recognise that you have them and go, yep, you've got them. Um, the only thing that you must have is all the map packs. Uh, still not sure whether West Bokens is in there now because uh, I know it wasn't for a little while, but I'm sure they've added it now. Um, so you may need all the map packs to be able to get on but like I say you don't have to activate them in game the TMP software will see that you have them in a mods folder I'm a solo basically what happens is if you've got them activated every time that you load up TMP within pro mods it will say that there's been a game change a game save changed and will want you to teleport um, which costs you money every time so what you do to get rid of that is in your TMP Pro Mods driver, which I have. I have separate drivers for everything that I do. 
Uh, so I have a TMP Pro Mods driver that, um, yeah, it, it would say something like game save change or content change or something like that, done it. Um, and yeah, it just stops all that if you don't have the mods in your game fully. Um, it, so it sees it as nothing's changed and just lets you carry on. And doesn't cost you money. I mean, money's not an option for me. I got loads of money. I hate to brag, but, you know, money's not a thing for my characters. To be honest, on one of my characters, fuel's not a thing. Um, <laughs> I just need to try and do the same to my Pro Mods character make, to make fuel not a thing. It's so nice not having to have to fuck about with fuel. I mean, I do occasionally drive properly. When I say properly, I turn everything on and go, right, this is what I'm doing today. If you... Secret. Air compressed fuel is not secret, though, dude. Everybody's running it now. <laughs> Morning, Brax. How you doing, buddy? How you feeling? Hope you're well. Um... think that's about right uh doing the rules doing the rules of the road except yeah I, occasionally i do everything so i put fines on i put fatigue on uh, i stop at red lights i do everything as you probably should do stick to every speed limit some people say it's boring i think it's just interesting to do every so often you know just every so often i just like to stick to the rules and regs but like I say, some people reckon it's boring. Also, it's my... It's almost my perfect wish for a convoy, you know? To put everything on. And the reason being is if you're sticking to the road regulations... And if you're sticking to speed limits and stuff like that, people that fall behind that say have to pop in for fuel, have to rest, so, so, so on and so forth, can easily catch you up. So if you're only doing a full 500 mile job and you're sticking to the speed limits, people can do go faster than the speed limit, obviously, and then catch you up because and still stick well within uh, what trucks but trucky whatever the whatever you're keeping score with for your mileage you know without going over into race miles and to be honest even getting anywhere near race miles you know so if the road's 50 and they're doing 60 or 58 or whatever they're going to catch you up very very fast and also you can stay tightly tightly packed together which from other VT, uh, VTC's perspectives when they see you on the road, they go, I know, because we've done it. We look at other VTCs that have a big convoy every so often and go, ooh, look at them. And they're like within one or two track lengths of each other. And that's it. I mean, that's the general idea of when we go, okay, we're sticking to 56, 58, is you should be able to get within a truck length of each other and stay in, stay in order. But there's a few of us that, or a few of our guys that just don't want to do it. I mean, the other day I sort of went off on the start point and was a little bit ahead, but I wasn't going fast or the, the projected speed for the day. I mean, the projected speed for the day was 58. I was doing uh, 45 until everybody caught me up. So, you know, uh, plus I do that. And also when truck needs... Um, PMI, MOT, etc. Um, yeah. Um, so what I plan to do kind of with one of my characters and I don't know whether it's going to work maybe my single player character I'll do it too that every every few repairs 
Um, what I'm going to do is keep the wear and tear on. Um, so basically, instead of replacing everything, I'm going to say fix it. So you keep kind of the wear and tear on. Um, and then every time it builds up to, I think it's 40% you're allowed of wear and tear before the truck starts coughing and shit. Um, then I'll do a full replacement. I think I'll do that on my single character though. So, you know you can do on your repairs now, you can do repair, replace, uh, and then over on the left hand side it's restore truck, totally restore truck. So what I plan to do is just fix everything and then when it gets to that coffin stage I'll totally do the other thing which to be honest is really really expensive you know when I say really expensive you just will buy a new truck it's that expensive but that, that's my plan my single player character and you'll see that guy as well I'll do a convoy with him he's got a few mods on him at the moment I mean he's got pro mods on him obviously uh, snapper12 thank you very much for your follow welcome to the funhouse yeah, so you'll see that you'll see the single player character. Basically, um, I use the TNT uh, 4 series Scania T cab uh, in my single player. Why? I just love driving that truck. Um, struggles a little bit with the train. I mean, it's only 625 horsepower, so, you know, struggles a little bit with the train, but it pull everything else quite nicely. You know, you know, 60 ton train plus trailer plus you i think it's about 87 tons somebody will correct me on that I'm, I'm sure you know 87 ton in total which is the heaviest in the game it's a bit too much for 625 but like i say the tnt mod um that i use it's an old mod but it still works perfectly you know so that's why i like driving it you like the series 3 scan you to be honest, I wish they put... Um, I know it's not a main manufacturer, but I wish they'd ask the guys in Holland um, if they can, I don't know, laser thing, laser sketch or whatever they do to put the trucks in one of the torpedo scanners. I know there's a big mod for it that costs 30 quid off of somebody, but because uh, Average uses it. Um, but I wish they'd put that in the game because there is a lot of them now. I mean... We don't see so many of them down here, although there is a company down here that does have them. Uh, David Garrett, um, I think he has like two or three, and he's based down where I am. Uh, but they're getting more popular, you know. People buy these brand new Scanias and take them over to the company in Holland and get them, tea, and get them to, turned into a tea cab. You know, it's, it's getting more and more popular. And I say it's getting more and more popular because I've just watched... Um, What's his name? People people hate him, but I think he's funny as fuck. Uh, Trucker Tim. You know, in his last couple of episodes, he's gone over to Holland twice to pick two T-cabs up. To bring back to people. Fake Trucker. Well, you say he's a fake trucker. He doesn't... He, doesn't, he himself doesn't count himself as a trucker. He counts himself as a privileged content creator and to me that's fair um, like I say a lot of people hate him but because he's he kind of he kind of doesn't truck that much but he's you know he's contenting about it all the time and he's it, he's I think he's, he's his comment on himself is fair enough he's not a trucker he doesn't do it often enough but he does it enough to augment what he gets off of um, what he gets off of YouTube so you know, he is a content creator. He's not He's not a trucker. That's the way he sees himself. So, to me, that's fair enough. Uh, he bought NG's V8 in a lovely colour, but he wants to change his, it to his colours. That's fair enough as well. I totally agree with that. Why wouldn't you? You know, if you've got a colour system that you've put a truck in, that you go, oh, that's my colour, why wouldn't you want to repaint the other truck, the brand new truck? I think that blue, I think the blue one that he bought off of uh, A&M um, was a fantastic blue colour. You know, and I 
you know, I wouldn't bother, you know, I'm sort of like, yeah, I wouldn't bother painting it, but, you know, ads, yeah, I can see. Oh, this is horrible. I'm going to finish it. Ginger beer is not for me. Well, fiery ginger beer is not for me. Mm -hmm. You're back, are you? So anyway, like I was saying, yes, he bought that nice blue truck um, next gen series um, Scania off of A&M. Um, it's a very nice blue. But if he wants to change it to his own colors, who's to say that he's wrong? Um, he got a bit close on his last one, though, when he was with that trailer. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he, he does need to move his fifth wheel back. What? You being needy? Hello, you being needy again? You want to come and say hello to everybody? You want to come and say hello to everybody? Come on in. Hang on, I've got to turn. Yeah, he was scraping one of the one of the like the back fenders, wasn't he, against the trailer? Come here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Don't get flat. Come here. I'll find your bone. Where is it? If you took it away. See? If you took it away. Come here. I'm not playing. Come here. No, you don't want to see it, everybody? Oh, it's dear. Uh Sean be able to do that for yeah, I expect so. Uh, it's Truck Sims looking rather nice, though, isn't it? Uh, so for you, those of you who don't follow Trucker Tim or even knew, look at what he's doing, he made a Truck Sim out of a truck. So, yeah, he you, you use everything in the truck as buttons, which I think was absolutely fantastic. Um, four screens on the truck, um, bolted to the outside for viewing. Yeah, that Scania red cab. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at first he was going to put it upstairs, wasn't he? But I don't think he's able to do that now. <laughs> but like I said, like he, uh, like I said, he's already labelled himself as a content creator, not a trucker. And the more people in his in, in his in industry see that that's what he's doing because he, he paints trucking in a good light so you know there's no there's no bad i don't think there's any bad feelings in what he's doing although he, he was a bit of a twat with some of the upgrades he made for his white for his for his other truck you know the fact that those have got on him and you know he's he had to change a bit but as in a trucking you know the job the job as a trucker he doesn't paint it in a bad light so i don't know what people are on it in for you know he he sort of paints it in kind of the same way you should treat any job this is this job's what you make it and if you like being on the road away for days at a time sleeping in your truck this you know it's possibly the job for you if you don't like those sort of things it ain't the job for you you know that's, that's the kind of way he portrays it so uh no more side pipe in tinted windows no more tints side pipes i think he's gonna put back on when he um completely does this new truck for the road because the, the the new truck i think he said the new truck is going to be for day-to-day -day use and the white truck the one the one he's already got is going to be for shows and and maybe a bit of work so um i think he's planning to still have the switcher on for his side pipes uh, because it's going to be mainly a show truck so yeah anyway guys watch this space we're plan i'm planning to do a charity stream um but i'm hoping a few of the guys will want to tag along for so we can do like maybe a 12-hour stream three or four of us do a 12 hour stream three hours each um and it's going to be for a charity that donates a lot of their stuff for 
uh, people suffering with fibromyalgia. Um, it's a charity close to it's a kind of a charity close to my heart since my wife has fibromyalgia. Um, I know it's um, it's kind of close to Average's heart as well and a few other guys. Um, like I say, keep an eye out. Uh, I got all over with the guys. I came up with the plan uh, the other day to do it. Um, a few of you guys uh, yesterday said, "Yep, yeah, it's it's a good idea." Um, so hopefully when uh, we finally make a date for it, you guys can pop along, donate what you can. Obviously, don't make yourself short. It's for a great, worthwhile charity. And like I say, I need to have a word with the guys and see if any of the guys can get involved in that. Anyway, so that's that field done. So we need to pop back to the garage now and um, get the bailer out. So you can watch me get lost. Because I have no clue where the freaking how to get back to the garage from here. Uh, new truck day. New truck day today. Um, in with one show truck plus have an opt to use either tr truck each day. Uh, the drunken board. Hi, how are you, sir? Um, so guys, if you don't know who the drunken Borg is, he's a um partner streamer with Simulator Radio. Um, he also, um, I think you're an affiliate with the station as well, aren't you? Under a kind of diff slightly different name. But yeah, that's where I know the drinking board from. Uh, how the hell I not follow you before? Uh, it came from SR? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why haven't you been following me for? <laughs> I know, I know that. I know you are. You're jazz and discord. So, like I say, guys, we're going to take this back to the farm. Um, we need to find the jet wash because it's looking dirty at the moment. Uh, jump in a tractor, go and do all those four fields uh, for bales, and then we need to do all those four fields for wrapping. We just need to find our way back to the farm. <laughs> uh, be hard to if the difference of country of the country regs. Yeah, yeah. What have you got? Ah, you got your teething ring. I don't know why you still got your teeth in ring because you've got adult teeth now. But you like to play with it, so hey. And guys, in chat right now is my partner link for Moza. And if you're interested in upgrading, we'll see what the upgrades are, all the deals that are currently in on the website. Click my link and go have a look. Because uh, every time you click my link as a first timer over at Moza, uh, it gets me once slightly more recognized. Ah. That was close, wasn't it? I should have looked. That, was, that would have been my fault if I had crashed crashing. I think we're getting close to the farm. Because we got past 72. And it should be right there. I'm... I don't know, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been on this farm, guys. I've been doing my own thing, and I look lately, my Hero to Zero thing. I say Hero to Zero thing, Hero to Zero stroke Road to a Million. Because I'm on the Road to the Million part for the second time. Shouldn't be long, to be fair, before I'm making the million. Um, I'm at 350,000 now. And every time I go on it, I'm making like 150 to 200,000 a time. Um, so, yes, yeah, shouldn't be long. Uh, where am I? We're there. So we go up to the next junction, take a right. And guys, this is the community farm, and you're all quite welcome to join as long as you're part of the SOEG Discord. Uh, like it says, just click that link, come into the Discord, go into the farming section, and ask for permissions. 
It is that simple. Uh, I think there's room on here for 12. Hey, Tav's on. Uh, Tav, can you have a look in the completed um, contracts and see what can be got rid of? I know the other day I think you said on stream to keep some of them there active. I'm not sure which ones they were. Uh, where's the wash? Is that the wash there? Is that a wash? That looks like a wash. That kind of looks like a wash, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't say anything not been over here in a week. Um, is this the wash? Is this a wash? What's that? That's not that. That's not nothing. That, like, that's not a wash. Okay, that's not a wash. Are you sure that's not a wash mat? Because that kind of looks like a wash area. Ah, yeah, it's a wash. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. I don't know what it is when I use when I use these washers, guys. I like to, I like to move up and down and like I'm actually doing it. I know, stupid, right? <laughs> uh, right, let's find where I found it. Let's try and find where I found it. Is it in one of these? That's where the baler is. So I know where that is now. I think it was this one. No, it could have been that one. Oh yeah, it was this one. It is this one. There we go. Boss, switch you off. Right, let's go find a tractor. Um, trouble is some of these tractors belong to people, so I need to have a look at the number plates. Uh, that doesn't belong to anybody. Does this belong to anybody? Sorry, I'm using it. That's ah, so right. So we need the baler, which is in this shed up here. Uh, this shed over here, isn't it? There's three balers in there. I'm hoping one has grass in it. That would be ideal. So that I don't have to change. Well, I get a little bit extra in it, don't I? So. So hopefully one has grass in it already. Uh, yeah, that's grass in it. Let's go. Uh, can't see the door. <laughs> Right, okay, so where are we going first? Uh, so I think we go over to 50 first, like we did last time, because that's easy to find. So um, out the main gate, which is this way, turn right, just follow the road. Anyway, Tab, morning. How you doing, brother man? Well rested, hopefully. So if you guys don't know, Tav was helping out Miss Silvermoon with her uh, two-year anniversary challenge on SnowRunner a couple of days ago. And GG's, she managed to 
do the whole map in one sitting. 17 and a half hour marathon on SnowRunner. Fucking absolutely fantastic. And Tav was on the last, what was it, nine hours with her? Um, till five in the morning. Oop, hello. But they managed to get it done, so yeah, like I say, fucking GG's. Awesome effort. It was a shame because in the end, if 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 you guys didn't watch it, pop back to Miss Silver Moon's channel um, and have a look at the end. Right at the end, just as they're about to do the last mission, the game decides to do what have have a have a ship fit and goes fuck you all. I'm kicking you all, all except Miss Silver Moon. Uh, but the goods were already at the delivery point, so um, she sort of asked her chat, and her chat went, "Yep, you know, it would have been delivered if." It didn't kick you or so yes you finished it so that was good of them because else that would have added about 20 minutes not that that would have made any difference to who won guess the time because i think the person who won guessed 18 hours anyway um so yeah she did really really well to do it in one sitting could i do it in one sitting like that no i'd have to break it down into like 10 hour stints But never life for dreams. Right, okay. Let's see if we can... I know it doesn't really matter. I can pick up all the little bits. Uh, line up with that one. Right, let's unfold you. I do have this baler, guys. But I have mine from the uh, straw pack. Um... Which, um, you know, some most of you guys know what the straw pack is. So, basically, you can do straw and hay um, and make it into pellets. And that's what I do on my own farm. I do straw and hay pellets, which I kind of like doing because of the manual labor involved in doing it. You know, you sort of have to do this, make them into bales, collect them in, uh, get the telehandler out, put them... Uh, the way I do it is I... I have the pellet uh, harvester in the shed already with the with the rack on it so I make the bales out in the field and then I come back and manhandle the the bales um, to make them into pellet to make them into the pellets and then I sell the bales individually I sell the pe uh, the, the pallet pallets individually through the sale point that it that comes with it but otherwise there is no sale point that comes with it um, you wouldn't have a sale point on your on your normal map. And once again, guys, this morning I'm drinking that fiery ginger beer from Wraith. Um, I'm not keen on it. Got to admit, it's not to my taste liking. I think it's the first. I think what's throwing me off of it is the first punch of the flavoring because it's i don't know it's kind of uh it's kind of got a spice punch to it and i don't like it but the taste afterwards is fine it's just that initial mm. yeah it's a thing and average is going to probably go don't be fucking pussy man I don't do spice. I can't help it. I don't do spice. I mean, really, I don't do spice. You know, it's it's quite well. I'd say I don't do spice. I do do spice. Depends which spices it is. So, for instance, I'll do spice if it's from the Chinese. So I'll eat a Chinese curry. And some of you will know how spicy the Chinese curries are. Some of you won't. Um, there's Kind of, I think they're kind of like a medium spice um, that comes from the Chinese takeaway. But I won't do the similar sort of spice from an Indian. Because I think they're hotter. Or it could be just my brain saying they're hotter. Don't fucking eat them. So yeah. I'm kind of weird that way.
Right, let's get right over. Hopefully I don't knock that bale out of the baler. Fine boy Q, how are you? I'm a poet and didn't even know it. Here she is. We knew you were a weird, weird enemy, Matt. <laughs> Morning. How you doing, lady? Yeah, I'm good. So the wife's looking up. Um, she was uh, sat in her chair all night last night, which is the first time for uh, like a week that she's been able to um, stay awake more than a, a few hours. Um, downside is um, it could be any day now she gets a date for an operation to take care of the... I think they said it was a bone. No, they said it was a tooth in the end that had grown internally in her gum which is you know kind of weird but it's a thing that's why she had the infection um so we'll tidy this up in a minute after we do this uh, other thing um yeah so she she had an ingrowing ingrowing tooth uh from McCure and get yourself and loopy yes Ouch, hope it's sorted. Yeah, she needs an operation to have it taken out. Uh, but they're, they're hoping to um, get the swelling and infection sort under control first. But the medication that she was on, because it's turned into sepsis, um, obviously was big time fucking drugs and was knocking her, knocking her silly. Which is why I'm off work. <laughs> because, you know, without me being here, if she fell on the way to the toilet or something, I'd never be able to live myself. You know, my wife isn't just the wife. She's kind of my best friend. And knows more about me than anything, which obviously she should. I like this tractor. I'm not sure I like it with the with the monster tires, but I do like this tractor. And guys, there's my link for Icon City. Uh, I am using the Icon City Goad package at the moment, along with my heavy equipment controller. But most of the stuff I do not with the heavy equipment controller is all done by the Goad package from Icon City. So please, please, please go check them out. They do not do game. They just. I'll say that again. They don't just do game keys or game um, icons. They also do productivity as well. Um, I think they've got over like 180 packs now. And I saw the other day they'd revamped Construction Sim. Uh, so if you have the pack from Construction Sim and you've um, linked that to their new website, uh, I think it said that you get the upgrade for free. So, you know, if you have the buttons for Construction Sim already, it's worth uh, validating them through the new website and yeah you get the new upgrade for free. Uh, and if you don't have it, guys, you can always use my code at checkout, which is MAD, M-A-D, all caps. Because, you know, you'd be mad not to. Uh, also in that message, guys, there is other streamers that are affiliated with them that are part of our community. Uh, the Average Viking has a code. His is uh, T-A-V, TAV, of course. Um, I think Loopy has a code. Minute has a code. Uh, Nightmare has a code. There's a, there's a load of us. You know, go support your favourite streamer with them. Because um, if you're going to get the buttons anyway, it's just a way of showing support that kind of costs you nothing. Right, let's quickly tidy up the outside and we'll do the ups and downs. And guys, we are listening to Simulator Radio, which we are not just a partner streamer for, we are also a presenter for and everybody who does anything with simulator radio gives up the time for absolutely free so please 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 if you would like to and you've got a spare few pennies 
pop across to the website, click that donor button, click that Patreon button, and everything you give just goes towards paying the licensing bills for a live radio station. I thank you very much. And like always, guys, if you can't be bothered with all that, going to Simulator Radio to donate. You can always donate to me and say your message. This is for Simulator Radio. And I will pass it along in due time. Right, there's a bit down here which I think I missed. And then I can get the ups and downs done. Don't think it's too much, though. Or did I get it? May have got it, or I uh, missed it because it was up in the corner. I think I might have got it. Okay. If we see it, we see it. If we don't, we don't. We're just, you know, no biggie. Anyway, guys, good morning. How you doing? If you're just joined me and you've never seen me before, my name's Mad Matt or 1X Mad Matt X1. Um, mine is short in it, but somebody's got Mad Matt, you know, just Mad Matt straight. Um, but yeah, anyways. Uh, <laughs> I'm a simulation streamer mainly. Uh, like you see today, I'm playing Farm Sim 22. I also play ETS, ATS, Construction Sim, Bus Sim, um, Snow Runner, which is a truck sim off road. You know, I, I, I count it as a, as a truck sim. <laughs> um, I've never streamed it, but I also do a bit of Wreckfest, um, Hunt a Call of the Wild, Hunt a Call of Fisherman, you know, all that sort of jazz. I just like playing with people, and all the games I play are all multiplayer, so you can come join. You're on Construction Sim now. Uh, how far you got? I've done, or before the new update, I've com I completed the UK, um, and I, I went to America, uh, and I think I'm about halfway through. I've not played it in a while, but I think I'm about halfway through. And of course, they've just brought out the stadium bit, so I need to do that at some point. Um, I think the last bit I did actually. Um, was the the other the other add-on the, the, the not the airport the um because I haven't done that either the like the stage thing the add-on bit the show show thing I did that that was a long one only because I had it on hard and on hard of course if you need to dig anything it wants you to dig to virtually a hundred percent. Um, good for money, but boring if you're trying to stream it, because you, I was digging for five days. So it was it was almost like playing out of war in that aspect, you know, where you're just digging, clearing mud, putting it in a dumper, selling it, and, you know, keep going, keep going, keep going. Except without finding gold and stuff like that, which out of war has in it. So we have these four fields to bail, wrap, um, and then take to the sale point for the contract. Um, probably get a little bit of profit over it. Although I say we get a little bit of profit over it. The sale point is actually at our own farm. So we might have to watch what we put in it. And then, you know, I don't know what they want me to do. With, I don't know what farm manager wants me to do with the rest of the bales. That are left over because there pro there will be, you know there always is like in a field like this there might be five or six bales left over, um so five or six bales every field, you know there's a lot of bales left over. But I do like the case tractor, case magnum. It's one of my favourite tractors. What am I making? Silage, mate. Silage, bro. No. 
poor fields of silage. Uh, on a poor slab at the moment. Uh, what's pissing me off is when I ran out of concrete. Uh, yes, um, but at least you can go to the mixer and just auto fill. Yeah, when you when you're pouring it, it's you know you have to. If you've never played construction some guys so what you'll have is a concrete mixer and then to pour it you normally a lot of the time you'll have to pour it into a telescopic arm uh which is a truck and you run out in the in the in the thing you run out in the telescopic arm very very fast sometimes so what you got to do is jump out of that truck into the mixer truck and refill the, the tele telescopic arm um and yeah, it gets a bit monotonous when you got to do a lot of pouring. Pump truck, yeah. Uh, now I have breakfast. You're having muesli and coffee. Sounds like a very healthy breakfast to set the coffee. <laughs> You're making the stadium. Yeah, that was um, a couple of DLCs ago, the stadium, wasn't it? Because since then, there's the airport and um, the one that they've just brought out, which is the... St oh, the stadium is the new one. Yeah, the stadium is the new one. I'm getting mixed up. You got the airport? Yeah, I haven't done that one yet. Like I say, I did the show stage... Uh, probably an RBGA then, Matt. Yeah, no worries, dude. No worries. We'll try and remember that when we do pick up. Yeah, I saw uh, a guy watch on YouTube doing it, and it looked pretty interesting. So um, when I get the spur of the moment to go back on it, uh, I plan to have a little look at it. Welcome back, Chucky. Thank you for the uh, farming tag. So, like it says, guys, if you're part of our farming community and you can join it at the uh, web link below um, to the Discord. So, discord.gg uh, forward slash SOAG. Uh, come in and go to the farming section and ask for permissions to join the community farms. Attention. Uh, the Air Force, Air Force, Airfield expansion. Yeah, I don't have it. Um, I was kind of hoping it'd be part of the year pass. I think it maybe is. But yeah, I don't have it. But it looked pretty interesting. Like I say, I watch a guy on YouTube that plays the new expansions all the time. And yeah, they look pretty interesting. It's just getting the drive to get back on it again. Um, just like I say, I kind of... When I had it on hard, I kind of, like, lost enthusiasm for it because I was digging for that long. Um, you know, I was just basically digging, getting rid of mud, digging, getting rid of mud. Uh, but I do have a lot of the best machinery now uh, because of digging for all that mud. Um, so I've got the biggest um, dumper truck capacity in the game. I've got the biggest um, front load, no, front loader or wheel loader? Is it front loader or wheel loader? I think it's a front loader. Could be a wheel loader. I don't know. Whatever that machine is, I got the biggest one of them. I've got the biggest excavator with the biggest bucket. Um, and the reason why I've got them is somebody, one of the guys, somebody come in to me. Um, it was in my chat, actually, one of the last times I was doing it. And he said, you know, can I come help? And I was like, yeah, no problem. Here's the code. Blah, 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 blah. And he came and he went, he said, can I do the excavator? I went, yeah, crack on, mate. You, you, you know, whatever you want to do. So I jumped in the dumper truck and he, um, while we were playing, he goes, well, I, that, this is my job. I, I'm a, I'm an excavator driver, uh, as real life. And I'm like, well, how, I'm, I'm like, well, how is, does it compare with actually do, doing the real thing? He said, well, this game is quite good at what they've done. 
So Constructor Sim is quite good what they've done with the excavators. He says, but the only two things he has trouble with in game is uh, depth perception. So where things are, because I think he plays internal in the, in the excavator. Um, so depth perception and the fact that he can't move himself around with the arm. Because in real life, obviously, you can support yourself with the arm. There's enough power in it to sort of like edge yourself around if you need to. Um, whereas that doesn't happen in game. You know, if you put the bucket in the ground, some of you will know this, the bucket just disappears. The, the ground isn't there, you know, and you can't move yourself with the arm. So he says that that's a bit weird to do. But once you get over that, you know, it's fine. And Tab's gone again. <laughs> no worries, Chucky. Uh, I was just making sure all was running okay. Yeah, it seems to be, dude. Uh, I know Fizzy was in here the other day, or yesterday, um, and was doing a couple of grass contracts, I think. And yeah, except for his normal issues. It, it looked okay. So a couple of more lanes, guys, and we'll have this licked. Uh, we'll pop over to the next field, um, which is not too far away, but far enough, I, I suppose. We just have to watch these wheels and passing the wheels of the tractor passing cars and stuff. Uh, but we should be able to do it. Temptation's on its way. Welcome to the house of fun. Uh, Lyndon UCF, thank you for a tier one sub, mate. Morning all. That's the way to enter. What a dick swing to enter in, in the morning. Just come in and go, yay, have a sub. <laughs> uh, morning, Lyndon. How you doing, bro? Hope you're well. It's all right. Like, I'm very, like, I, I've said this before. I'm very anal when I do grass fields. I mean, there is... There is a few fields which need a few of the bushes trimming. Um, like, I found one of my... What the fuck's that? Is that a bird? That's a bird. thought that was a grass tufty. Then I thought I was going to have to go get the mowers again. Um, so, yeah, one of the fields that we were on a minute ago needs a few of the bushes trimmed back. Uh, what she said? <laughs> yeah, so there's a few of the few of the bushes need trimming back. I think it was on 81. Not sure. Uh, right, let's get the bells out of there. It don't really matter, but... Uh, fold it up. Bricky time. GG's. Coffee! Right, let's go to 70... What was it? 76? Which was come out of here, turn left. Um, straight on at the junction, and then turn left again, was it? Something like that. Take a chance on me. Let me know when you'll be around. And put me a place to go when you're feeling down. I did enjoy the Mamma Mia films, guys. i got to admit. Um, they were very, very good. Um, yeah. I think they tried a little too hard when they tried to implement the tunes into the films. Um, the dad dancing was hilarious. <laughs> uh, they don't beat the stage show though. Morning DP, how you doing dude? Um, uh, yeah, I've never seen the stage show dude. Uh, but yeah, the films are alright. Um, I did think Cher's bit in the second one um, they could have made her sound a little better than they did. 
Um, because she doesn't sound terribly good in the film. Um, kind of like if anybody saw the, I forget what it was, uh, the King's commemoration or the King's like thingy bob or something, and um, Lionel Richie was doing a few songs outside the palace. He sounded awful. We definitely recommend uh, going to well, uh, the, the theatre to see him. Sweet. Oh, I'll definitely definitely look out for it, dude. Dude, they got old. Yeah, man. That's possibly what it is. Average, yeah. But a few, you know, a few singers in their in their age kind of keep their voices. You know, so it's, it's not all about age, but yeah, I get it. So it's just down here to my left, and then as we come up to the field, the entrance is on the above side. You'll see what I mean when we get there. If I remember rightly, so it's this next field just after the road on the right and we have to turn right to get into the field honey I'm still free take a chance on me skin man g'day how you doing dude oh wrong button wrong button that button. All right, unpack it while returning. Get in line. Turn it on. And pick it up. You good? No worries. Well done. Nearly time for Skin Man to go to bed. <laughs> I know he's just arrived, isn't it? Time for him to go to bed. <laughs> and I am still free. Take a chance on me. I know I could do this from in cab and it's it's just as easy, but That's going to be tight to get onto, isn't it? I'm going to have to do a couple of backies forwards. Just to get on the freaking end of this one. You feel like heaven to touch. I don't want to load hold you so much. That might do it. Tunage. I guess you like a bit of the classics. Frankie Valley is the original, I think. You listen a lot to Gold FM. Yeah, they play a lot of classics on them. But I think they play all classics. Same as, um, is it Classic FM or what? something like that? Right, let's just chop this bit off of it. It's only 6.30 a.m. there. Oh, not as late as I thought. I need you, baby, and trust in me when I say. I know, I can see it's PM, dude. <laughs> Good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. 
<laughs> I want to hold you so much. <laughs> Can't take my eyes off of you. Will it? Are you sure? I've missed a bit there, but that will pee me off. Uh, I will get that on the up. Like I say, I mow everything, everything I can mow. I, I pick up everything I can pick up. It's just my thing. I don't like. I don't like need leaving nothing. I get every strand. Mm, madness. Welcome to the House of Fun. Kind of my theme song, guys. Dear little 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 lady. Dear little. Dear little. Good morning, miss. Can I help you, son? 16 today. And up for fun. I'm a big boy now, but so they say so. If you serve me on my way. Weird a feather like touch. Pack of potty poppers that pop in the night. A toothbrush and hairspray, plastic bean, Mrs. Cake, when the children has just walked in. I don't know this song. <laughs> There's a few of you going, I wish you didn't fucking know it. Temptations are on its way. Welcome to the house of fun. Right, let's see if we can get in the corner here and grab that. Uh, there. That's got it. That's definitely got it. Can we get on the end of this line as well now? Yes. So fun. Now I've come of age. Welcome to the housing's den. Uh, seen these live at a party in the park. I saw these live when they played um, down at Plymouth Pavilions. Um, Madness is a kind of funny band. I say I don't say they're hilarious. Uh, funny the time that you catch them if you catch them in the right frame of mind they're awesome to watch if you catch them when they've had a few to drink before they come on stage they aren't that's why i say they're kind of a funny band so if you catch them in the right light it, they're good if you catch them in a shit light they're not not so good in fact they they, they almost can't play their instruments they almost can't sing but yeah, if you catch them in the right frame of mind and stuff, then they're brilliant. Lion's Den, temptation's on its way. Welcome to the house of fun. Um, yeah, and the guy that was starting off the warm-up show was... He used to be the lead singer of the House Martins, Beautiful South and all that lot. Um, but he, I think he was under contract rules not to do any of the songs from those bands. Um, the only song he could really do that anybody knew was Caravan of Love. Was it Caravan of Love? Yeah, Caravan of Love, because I think he co-wrote it or something. So obviously he has the rights to be able to sing it. <coughs> so the crowd was kind of hoping he'd sort of sing some Beautiful South songs, some House Martin songs, but yeah, he had to sing his own stuff. Um... So the, the, the warm-up that kind of was a little bit boring. But yeah, as soon as Madness come on, it was a fucking riot. And we were standing up for the whole show as well. So, um, so they had sort of a floor place. So you could stand up and bop around and stuff. And around the back of the sides, they had seating. And my mate said to me, you know, why come to a ska show if you're going to freaking sit down? Because you don't, you don't want to sit down watching ska, do you? You want to, you want to get up and, yay, but I'm doing that. You can have a, have a laugh and stuff. So. 
you're looking for a lasting lover save me if you did think of uh, love all the 80s British ska mm -hmm. Eighties, eighties is my year for music, anyway. Um, no matter what it is. However, I discovered uh, Real Big Fish about ten years ago, and they're awesome. Is that a local band to you? Never heard of them. No, an American man. It just sounds like kind of. Um, Kind of like a cartoon sort of kiddies show. I know it's not Big Fish, Little Fish, but it's Big Chef, Little Chef, Cardboard Box. Uh, but anyways, kind of sounds like that. <laughs> uh, Monkey Man is their biggest hit. Um, okay, is that a remake of um, who made that in the start? Was it Beat? International Beat? Didn't they do that first? But they also uh, do a fantastic cover of Take On Me. Uh, have grown up listening to 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s music. Uh, yeah, probably a cover. Yeah, because uh, I forget who did it. I think it was the beat. It could have been Selector. Um, did Monkey Man. I think it probably was Selector. It's their kind of song. And if you don't know the song Monkey Man, guys, it's all about um, doormen in general, so bouncers in general. And that, you know, that that's what they call monkey men. Lasting lover. Diddly -dee -dee -dee. But anyway, guys, in terms of music, we're listening to Simulator Radio. It's the auto DJ at the moment. Um, there's no live DJ on uh, booked in at the moment till 6 p.m. Uh, but 24 hours of music anyways, no matter if there's live DJs or not. Get tuned in, guys, Simulator Radio. And don't forget, when there is a live DJ on, uh, you can influence the Big Top 30 on a Sunday. Uh, Radio J did very well to last out the show uh, yesterday. Um, he had a sore throat or cold or something. And <laughs> just as he was trying to announce number one, it kind of went on him. Poor sod. And yeah, hopefully I've got the metadata fixed on the the Drew Serek song, which I've kind of got uh, link linked into. Um, and kind of like now. Blame Matriana for that one, so you might hear that one quite a lot when I'm live on the radio. It's a boppy song, it certainly is. It's fucking catchy as fuck as well. So we've got this little bit to do in this field, guys, and then there's two other fields. One is a smaller field, well, kind of the same size as this, actually. Uh, and the next field, the last field, is a slightly bigger field. And we just got to come around and wrap uh, all of the fields and then come around and collect all of the fields as well. Um, hoping that um, we get finished in good timing with it. Not that we're any, in any kind of rush, guys. You know, we'll, um, we shall stay live until complete. It's only four fields. Well, I'd say only four fields. You know, if I was doing field 60, yeah, that might be a different story. <laughs> uh, if anybody knows the map, guys, field 60 is probably one of the biggest on the whole map. Um, took me four hours, four and a half hours to cultivate it the other day. Yeah, I know, right? Mind you, it's not the longest I've been on one field. Uh, when we were on... What was that map before, I've the American one. I was doing sugar beets for nine and a half hours. And that was, and that was with a modded harvester. Uh, 
I heard the sound of my heart. Yeah, as you can tell, guys, I get bored in the way I go up and down lines. I'll do every line. I'll do bits of lines. Oh, Time USA, that's the one. Yeah, nine hours I was doing sugar beets with a modded harvester. So I was harvesting at about 15 to 20 mile an hour the whole time for nine hours. Uh, anyone know a good truck uh, mod to haul gooseneck around? Um, in what game? FS22. Um, what mod did we have the, 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 in, uh, in old timers? That, that was a good truck mod, wasn't it? Um, was it scan your mod? That was pretty decent. The one that has um, baby shark is the hot air horns. If you had a pickup truck, could do it. I think it gets a bit light once you've got a heavy load on, though. Not nose light. Uh, the trucks that we use on here can probably do it as well. Um, let's see if we can find one in a minute. Uh, where is it? There? No. Uh, da -da -da -da. where's one of our trucks? So I'll find one in a minute. There we go. The Lizard, uh, 536. They're good trucks. Um, they get a bit no, they get a bit light in the nose, but good trucks. So the Lizard 536 SD3. Uh, the Scania S730, that's a good truck as well. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones turn into something beautiful. Right, I think that's the last line on that. Uh, can it haul fifth wheel gooseneck? I don't, don't think we've even, we've ever tried. To be fair, um, well, I certainly haven't. Oops, keyboard glitched. I think it can. I don't want to say yes. I don't want to say no. Um, average over the years. If we, if we try gooseneck with any of our trucks. I think this one leads right to 70, 87. Um, uh, there's a good uh, F450 on King's Mods. There you go, dude. A new average would know. All oh, right, yeah, turn left in it here. Sorry about the ads, guys. Um, but yeah, it stops. Um, Stotch uh, Twitch getting involved in my ads. Right. Uh, works great with up to 50 foot goosenecks. Ooh. Very good, very nice. Okay, straight over at the roundabout, isn't it? 
And then it's on my right, I want to say. For you, that's how they shine for you. Welcome back from the ads, guys. Um, the ads have got to be on because if I don't put them on, Twitch will get involved their sales and whack them in. Um, so it's better that I can control them in some aspect. Uh, and they're now on for a minute because of the new uh, ways you can get rid of the ads yourself by using... I was going to say Nitro, but it's not Nitro, is it? It's the other thing. Nitro's Discord. <laughs> So it's this field. Um, average, when you or farm managers got time, see there's a few of... I don't think you can see it. See this tree next to the baler? There's a few of these that are in the field and that I think are supposed to be in the hedge. Uh, and I'm hitting... You're hitting them quite a lot when you're using the mower. Is there any way we can get rid of them? I think there's about four that stick out of the hedge quite a bit and... Yeah, get in, get in the way. So there's one here, there's one just up here. I think they're supposed to be attached to the hedge, but they're not. They're actually in the field. Uh, field 87. Probably a question for uh, Andy, isn't it? Yeah, have a look at it. Sweet. Yeah, like I say, there's about four of them. They just totally get in the way from allowing you to do decent lines. And like I say, I think uh, Stevie probably wanted them to be in the hedge, and they're not in the hedge. They're in the field. Bit of a saving lag there. Briscoe. Sorry, Stevie, Briscoe, whatever. It's yeah, it's a Briscoe map, not a Stevie map. <laughs> uh, I've played so many Stevie ones lately. I think that's what it is. I like the flavour of this ginger beer one. I just don't like that kick. That kick throwing me. access did it get it all almost i think i can get that last little bit just do that bosh done anyway guys good morning how are we doing if you just joined me uh what are you up to today i know it's monday i know some of you have got to go to work in a very sh short few hours or maybe you're on your or you're already on your way to work um Here's another one, look right on this corner. And I can't steer, apparently. <laughs> Anytime I hear this song, do you know what I'm thinking about? That scene in Hot Shots. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't remember getting in that close. But we got it. Like I say, I'm a bit anal when it comes to picking up 
stuff like that and a bit anal in when I cut. Uh, I literally want to cut every blade of grass I can uh, to maximize profit and stuff. And when it comes to picking it up, I definitely want to be picking everything up that I've cut. So we'll just go up and tidy up this. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Yeah, I'm about to lose control and I think I like you. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, I don't give a shit whether there's virtually a full bell in the baler when, I, when I'm done. As long as I've collected everything that I can collect. It's just like this. I can see that there's bits I've missed down this lane. So I prefer to go down and collect the bits rather than doing the full lane. It's just the, it's just me. I I don't like missing anything. Now some people will go, yeah, but the bits that you're picking up are nothing. Yeah, but there's still something. You know, that may be a litre of grass or whatever. That can turn your 99% at the end into a full bell. You're all the same. <laughs> Plus the down, up and down lines don't really matter so much at the moment because you know I'm gonna do all the ups and downs in a minute anyways you know it's just good for me to tidy up the outside now some people will say that's OCD-esque yeah maybe I just I just don't like missing anything I really don't wrap myself around you and to be honest, as long as I've got some tunes on, like now, I can just chill out and just carry on. I don't care. It, to be honest, it don't matter what job I'm doing on the farm. As long as there's decent tunage on, just chill out and focus. Whoa, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. So I was seeing some of the other numbers missing on that list on the left-hand side, thinking, who the fuck is else is on here? But it's, um, it was the sugar beet, um, truck unloading on its own. <laughs> oh, jeez. Once again, guys, do a streamer a favour. Go click that link to Moza. If you haven't already, I mean, the guys that have done it will know if you've done it or not. Uh, but if you've not done it, please, please, please click that link. Go hang around for a couple of seconds just to let them know that you've gone through my link to get there. Um, and everybody who does so, I get like a little tick against my name. That's one more. And yeah, maybe stuff starts happening with them. And yeah, before I start purchasing myself, uh, because it will happen. It might take me a year or so to do it, but it will happen. I'm very, very interested in, in the um, CS version 2 wheel now, now that Daz has tested it through SnowRunner and the thumbsticks on the wheel work for Crane. So people like myself, kind of Miss Silver Moon, who use uh, average at times, uses a wheel with SnowRunner. We can now, with say, if we upgraded to that wheel, use the Crane via the wheel now instead of maybe going to stream deck buttons or other such stuff joysticks um controllers i normally go to a controller um we can now do everything from the wheel with that wheel and also i'm quite interested in getting the trucking wheel as well um but that's kind of the same price as the whole fucking motor at the moment but you know it might go down a lot of money for a wheel the trucking wheel 300 pound I know there's a lot on it, there's a lot of buttons on it, but it's just a wheel. Considering you can buy the starter kit, I think for about 450 at the moment. So you get the motor, a wheel, two pedal kit, or for 450. And for an extra 30 pound, you can buy the clutch pedal. Uh, for an extra 20 quid you can buy the brake um, the brake kit which makes it slightly stiffer 
120 pound you buy the shifter so you're all in the same ecosystem i think for 90 pound you can buy the handbrake which is very good in comparison to other handbrakes and have it basically all plug into the base of the wheel it's fantastic and then only one usb into your pc And the good thing is now, guys, you can now with Moza buy other people's wheels and have them work on your, on the Moza kit, just by buying a kind of adapter. I think it's about 40 or 50 pound. You buy a USB adapter and you plug, basically, if you're using, say, I don't know, a Fanatec wheel, you can plug a cable into the Fanatec wheel and plug it into the USB hub for Moza and it works. That's the way I kind of watched the video and explained it. Which, you know, doesn't lock you to Moser in, in effect. Oh, wait, don't knock that bell, Matt. That'll do. That'll do. And get on there. Bosh. See, I'm not like shit. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, guys. When it comes to managing a farm, you guys have seen from my Hilda Zero series, I am absolutely fucking useless at it. But I know the basics um, to keep stuff rolling, and I don't over. T I don't take too much. Um, I don't know what to call it. Chances and stuff's gonna work. So, you know, at the moment on my Zero to Hill farm, obviously I've got sheep, I've got chickens which, to be honest, isn't that much of a chance because all you do is feed them. Well, I say feed them. With the sheep, all you do is um, give them grass. I, can't, I guess that's kind of feeding them. And all you do with the chickens is give them wheat. And you don't... You know, as in when... I think in 19, you had to clean up the feed, didn't you? Every so often. You don't do that with 22. Kind of miss that aspect of it. Where you had to go into the feed and clean the feed up because they'd make a mess. They kind of make a mess of it. So you went in with a front load or something with a bucket and just cleaned it up and poured it back in the feed again. I kind of like that. With 19. And you, yeah, that doesn't happen with 22. But yeah, so I've done cattle on my first farm. I've done sheep on my second farm. Um, so when I get to a million, I, I let you guys influence where i go from there so either i come over here full time so every time i stream a farm it'll be this one mr chameleon's coming in for a reset 14 months dude jeez thank you very much coming in swinging his dick Morning, Cams. How you doing, bro? And Cams is just waking up for work. So he'll be around for an hour or so while he gets ready. All good? Well done. Mr. Chameleons is the only guy I know that sends me a photograph of himself. I don't know what it is. Mind you, the day he sent me a photograph, he'd actually been out and scraped snow off his yard and shit. And he was like, it's cold here. And it, he's got, he's like just jumping into his truck with just his t-shirt on. What? I'd be like, t-shirt, jumper, fucking coat, woolly hat. Fuck that shit. You know, he's out in his fucking t-shirt. <laughs> right this is the last line on this field and then we go to 89 and we have to f remember where we went to get in there i think i remember jeez man 10 o'clock already shit um it's getting a little warmer now after after shoveling you get a little oh you get a little warm after shoveling 
Yeah, I suppose so. The amount that you guys had there a couple of months back, wasn't it? You had a lot. You had like a like a foot or so, or a couple of feet. Uh, you know, you you don't get small bits of snow <laughs> when you guys get it. It's fucking all or nothing. Kind of like how a lot of the European countries, that you know, when it rains, it rains. It's not. It don't don't do a half measure. Right, where's the exit? I think it's over here. Um, you. So I need to come out of this field, do a right, then do another right, go straight across, go through the lane. Well, there's the exit there. So, I, to be honest, guys, I've not been on this farm for ages. I mean, I've been on it a couple of times since we've re-put the farm back in as a community farm. Um, but, if, you know, the last time I was on it before that was, oh, I don't know. Eight months ago, maybe, we were, we were on it last before that. And we've played a lot of other community farms as well, in between. And I've, I've played single-player farms, you know, a lot of. So it's, it's been a while since I've been on this, working on this farm in a, on a regular capacity. But I'm absolutely loving being back. Being back on this farm is bringing back all kinds of good vibes. Because it is a good farm. I mean, as you can see from the windows of the tractor, guys, they're not all flat fields, they're not all straight fields, you know, there's undulations, there's hills, there's this and that, there's trees, there's hedges, although you can drive through the hedges, it don't really matter. Um, it's got a bit, I think it's got something for everybody. You know? Right, so we've got to go up here. Um, don't tell me, Adriana. See if I remember. Past the house, take a left. And it's the second left. First left is straight into field 12. Which is kind of here. Somewhere. Love the oaks. Yeah, it's a brilliant map, isn't it, Cams? So there's field 12, so it's the next left. I mean, it looks like on the map I'm going totally the wrong way, but, you know. So it's this left here. Um, also something that I was thinking about, Average, is this field here, um, I think could be bought, extended and sold. If you catch my drift. Because I, I looked at the map and it runs down behind another field. So if I come out of it a second. So I'm down here on 87. So it kind of, I don't know whether it's possible to run it down here beside 84 or whether this is totally the end of the map um but if it's possible you know i think it might be an idea to extend i mean because at the corner of the farm the corner of the map sort of ends there where my cursor is where the tip of my cursor is so yeah might be an idea to extend if it's going to stay grass just a, just a thought Well, right, let's get this done. So this is the last field we need to bail, guys, and then we need to bring the wrapper to the, all the fields um, and wrap it all, and then we can start getting rid of it. We're going down, down. Um, so, uh, we're probably going to be on till about 11 o'clock, something like that. Uh, we'll finish off the contracts, um, after, if we're on afterwards. Um, yeah. We'll probably raid into the average Viking in about 5 past 11, get him get set up and sorted and comfortable in his chair and third cup of coffee and stuff. Uh, what is the game of choice today, average? Oh, damn, look at that. I missed the whole shit. Ah, it's only a contracted field. It'll be all right. Doing my head in seeing it. Don't look at it, Matt. Don't look at it. Look at the other screen. <laughs> Don't look at it. Look at the other screen. Otherwise, I'm going to have to get the tractor. I'm going to have to get the mower out and come down and fucking do it. If I take too much of a notice of it. Yeah, so what I was saying is, it's this bit here, look. 
I don't know if you could go down there or not, but if you can, it might be an idea to extend. You know? You missed a bit? I missed fucking shitloads. Uh, shut up. Morning, Lampard. How you doing, bro? I'm trying not to take any notice of that bit there. Because it'll do my head in. Look, don't look at it. It's fine. I just can't see nothing. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, like I was saying, I wonder if I can get down that area. Should we find out? Can't see it. No, I can't see it. So, yeah, all this is nothing, look. So, yeah, you could we could plough this, buy it, plough it all the way down to here, which will add on to 89. Yeah, all this is nothing. And have it be one great grass field. Imagine how, how much extra bells that would be. Whoop. A few undulations in it, but, you know, nothing that we can't handle. But, yeah, there was so much landage there, just doing nothing. I'm not complaining because obviously it gives, you know, it gives the, the the farming team on the on the map a bit that can be expanded and stuff. So it gives an option to show how to expand land and stuff, doesn't it? So, you know, just don't cut it so tight to the edges. Farming Corsa. <laughs> Yeah, I have a picture of you in my mind. I've never been where they've been so wrong. Why'd it take me so long just to find? It's there that was there all alone. Um, yeah, Cam's Red Solo Cup has kind of grown on me. And considering that, um, Radio J is now kind of playing it on a regular basis. I don't feel so bad. I think he kind of misses the bit, like the first bit. Um, where he says you can suck his dick or something. No, they don't say that. <laughs> uh, but the first bit where it's kind of suggestive, I think I don't, I don't think he hears that bit. So wrong. Why'd it take me so long just to find? That's good. Yeah, so we're kind of in the red solo cut. We're kind of into that Drew Serek song, which hopefully I've got the metadata correct for, which we'll find out probably later on uh, today when I uh, when I pop on and maybe do a set on the radio while Average is live. Like I said, I don't know what Average is streaming today at 11. Uh, but I think he said he was going back to normal, so uh, it's maybe farming, maybe Bally. I don't know. I haven't seen yet. It would be so wrong. Why did it take me so long just to find? I'm watching you, little sod. It's like she's curled up under my desk, right beside my pedals. Am I DJing today? I might, I might present today, yes, Camps. Oh, there's a mention there. I don't know what's going on. There's a mention there. There's a mention there. Oh, I got mentions everywhere. I say, oh, I got mentions everywhere, and I've been a bit needy there, aren't I? I got mentions! <laughs> gotcha! Also, guys, one thing we want to upgrade in the near, near future, which is not so expensive for me, is we want to upgrade the heavy farming control console that I got for the farming stick. That's one thing I do want to do in the near, near future. I know a few guys that have got one. I think Cams has got one. Um, and there's a few other guys that have got one. And they say that it works very, very good. And yeah, it just updates one bit of equipment that I'm currently using which sometimes the Sarek 
Logitech farming control console. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. it. Kind of bugs out sometimes. It's a pain in the ass. Um, but very, very easy to fix again. Don't look at it, Matt. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. I kind of got to look at it because I can fucking see it. Ignore it, Matt. Plent, pretend it's not there. Come on, tractor, move. I don't want to see this for too long. Otherwise, I will get the fucking grass mowers back out again. Yeah, so I think this field could be extended. I mean, if you go along the similar lines to what they've already done as well, so you're rock. I don't know, maybe, what would you call that? A metering game off the fence? Kind of cool. And do something similar this side. You know, do it in conjunction when you're doing this field as well. And then replant all in one crack. I think it'd be good. I think it'd be good. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see, uh, track how many of your remotes have been used and how often, but your remotes have been distributed amongst many Twitch DJ streams. <laughs> oh yeah. And hopefully guys, if you guys are being generous, we can, um, you know, we've, the sub emote goes or the sub goes uh, we can open up a few more emotes and um, moving emotes to uh, be able to expand our repertoire on it but we got a while to go before the, um, we open up the next next set and it's just for I think it's two animated uh, I think it's two animated five nor five normal but we've we, you know, if we've got the space, we'll certainly fill them. There's a few I've seen that I'd like kind of thing in mine, but I don't want to, in a ways, I don't want to copy. I know it seems strange for a, for a streamer to say he doesn't want to copy because, you know, no matter what you do, you copy somebody. It, you know, you can't, you can't get away from it as a streamer. You know, because there's, there's thousands upon thousands of streamers, you know, so you're going to copy somebody regardless, you know, but um, like I say, there's a couple that I saw that I'd like to, I don't know, kind of put the main little character as something me. Um, but the principle of it, the same as theirs, if that makes sense. So I'll, I'll try and explain it. So what I've seen is... Um, Kind of like my dancing devil there. Um, and um, they're holding kind of laser lights and just doing this with them. And the laser lights are kind of going... Just kind of like that. Um, something like that. But, you know, I think it, what I saw was like an egg person or something um, doing it. But like I said, kind of like a dancing devil or the... Um, my new character, which is a hoodie DJ, kind of doing it. Um, so the kind of dancing devils cams will be phased out at some point. Um, I know you kind of like them, but I'll keep the chameleon for you. But the dancing devil ones will be gone at some point. Only because I ch I've changed my outlook on what I, what my theme is. I kind of had a good think and went, what's my theme? What do I do? And, uh, you know, the, the sort of madness, sort of party vibe um, sort of thing um, kind of wasn't working for me. Um, so I kind of went to like a disco-y kind of theme um, just lately. And I think that suits me better.
because many of you know my background i'm a i'm a former mobile dj so uh, which is how i got so much um party-esque songs when i go on the radio and i try and pick up about two extra songs a week um depending on requests and how many times you've asked me for that song um sort of stuff you know so if i don't have it then the first time you request a song that i don't have um I'll make a mental note of it the next time you ask and, and remind me that, you know, I asked for that song before, um, but you didn't have it. I'll sort of go and listen to it and see what it's like and see whether it's kind of me sort of thing. Um, and I'm not harsh on songs. So, you know, don't worry about whether it's too rocky or too this or too that. You know, I saw my repertoire sort of a bit of everything. You know, I like rock. I like ska. I like punk. I like drum and bass. I like I like everything. I just don't like it going overly into everything. You know? I think we'll be on the farm until about midday by the looks of things by how much stuff we've already got done and how much we've got to do. Uh, the picking up of the bales won't take long. We'll probably just use the truck if it's if it's available. So we have a truck with a trailer that will, will pick up bales. Um, and it's all going to the same place, so it won't matter whether we like just go field to field to field. Um, how dirty is this looking here? So we're going to have to take this back and clean it, put it away before we get the wrapper out. We're not going to we're not going to clean the tractor, guys. We're just going to go looking for the wrapper. Um, I think it should be in the same shed as the bale, the balers. It makes sense if that if that was a thing. Um, the next time we go trucking, guys, if anybody's interested, the next time we go trucking, we'll be on Pro Mods. Uh, why? Because we like Pro Mods. And, yeah, so it'll be TMP Pro Mods, and the only thing you need is to get the basic package. You need all the map uh, DOCs, and, yeah, you don't have to install them. You just need them in your mod folder, and then load up the TMP software, and away you go. Very, very easy. And either you can pay a pound for the, for the download, or you can do it for free. If you do it for free, guys, um, this free download is 11, 11 separate down. Well, 12 if you include the uh, the death folder. So, and it, you, there's all there's a five minute there's a five minute um, cooldown period between each one. So you could be on there for I don't know an hour, just waiting around, but. What I did when I downloaded it, it well, because I downloaded it this time for free, um, I was in chat with the guys, so I was downloading it, chat for a bit, bump, 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 download, chat, 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 bump, 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 download, and the, 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 the waiting time was very, very fast, or it seemed very fast. So, yeah. Um, so after we drop these bales off, guys, anything left over has to go to the RBGA. That's what I've said. Like I say, if, if, this, if we're still doing this job, guys, we're going to raid out at about 5 past 11 into the average Viking. Not sure what he's going to be playing today. I think he said he's back to normal, so it's maybe farming. Um... He's not on here, back on here already, so I'm presuming Bally Springs, which I call <laughs> Balamori. I just had that stuck in my head one day and it just stuck. So he was on it and I was like, yeah, he's going on Balamori. Yeah, he's going on Balamori. Yeah, he's going on Balamori. And, and all of a sudden he went, don't you mean Bally Springs? I was like, yeah, that one. <laughs> but the song was stuck in my head at the same time, you know. 
and Amori tell us a story but didn't you like the no who do you think you are It's time now, half past. Yeah, so we're, we're going to go way over before we finish this. It's probably going to be about midday before I get on the radio because um, we do have a ruling on the community farms, guys. If you're coming in to play the community farms, uh, if you take a contract, you finish the contract. Um, and I've taken four contracts, so I need to finish four contracts. Uh, simply because it gives, you know, you don't want to be really giving work to somebody else to do. Uh, that's the main reason um and you just have to be prepared that some contracts will take longer for instance field 60 on this took me four and a half hours just to cultivate it um mm -hmm. so yeah you do have to think about it and you know allow for enough time i mean obviously if something pops up irl different you know you just put in the farming chat sorry guys had to leave this Boom, 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 something IRO popped up and then somebody will come along and go yeah it's okay no worries bro I'll finish that for you no problem at all just a polite message in chat just to say that you couldn't finish it and we're all gravy again but if you want to be in the community farms guys there's the link to the discord discord.gg forward slash slut soag um, pop into the farming section and just say I'm interested in joining the community farm and um, you'll be given the link to download mods and stuff to get on the farm. Five bucks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not that cheap, Cam. It's fucking ten dollar for me, mate. <laughs> And I don't mean Canadian dollars either. Shake it, move it, make it, just can. The Spice Girls in their heyday. Mm -mm -mm. Posh can still go and sit on a fucking flag photo. <laughs> I do think... Um, Jerry Hallowell aged well, and so did um, Swarty Spice. I forget her name, but she aged well as well. The other, the other couple didn't. The other lot didn't. Um, I mean, Posh is still Posh, even though she's obviously older. I can't afford that on my allowance. <laughs> A lot of bells, guys. A lot of bells. It's going to take a couple of loads just to get in. You know, even with, even with the Arctic, uh, I think it's an Arctic trader we got for uh, for auto bailing, auto collection. I'm not using the small one. That's only it only does about sixteen bells. You age well. Mhm. Mm yeah, you're kind of an old fart. I say so. <laughs> say he's an old fart. He's like two months as fucking older than me. Never mind, you're still not as old as Kenny, he's older than God. Somebody, I said that in chat the other day, and somebody went, yeah, but you've got Jesus sandals. I went, yeah, but Jesus is younger than God. Hello? Still, 2,000 years old doesn't look bad, yeah. <laughs> Arse. You feel like dancing? Tell you what, I did like a couple of the songs that Sundance played the other day. Uh, the new Death Leopard song seems 
seems a bit of a tune. Um, wasn't sure on the new Bon Jovi song. It's a, I don't know, it's kind of a slow dance song sort of thing. And I wasn't quite sure about it, but it might grow on me. Uh, but definitely the new Def Leppard song. I didn't know they even made a song before he played it, to be fair. But yeah, the new Def Leppard song seems a tune. We're not going to look at that, Matt. To be honest, what we could do is just do that, and then we don't need to look at it. <laughs> yes, average. I missed a bit over there, and I'm trying not to look at it because otherwise, I will get the mowers out and recut it. Um, but I don't want to because I know I'll already have enough to f to do this field. It's only a little strip, but it's annoying me that I missed it. Death Leopard moving on. Um, Oh, that's the new. Is that the new song name, dude? If it is, it's really, really good. I like it. I'd say the new Bon Jovi one, which seems like a slow dance song, was a bit iffy for me, anyway. But yeah, that one was good. Anyway, boss man, what are you playing today? You haven't told me yet. Or is it a surprise? Or is that IRL stuff going on? <clears throat> I haven't had a chance to look, that's why I'm asking. Guys, just to promote one of our community leaders, Miss Loopy Loza has gone live. So if you've got a, if you're on a PC right now and you can open a second tab, if you would like to do so, would be much appreciated. I love Def Leppard, but uh, Drastic Syndrome's album was uh, the remakes of some of uh, their most iconic songs played. With uh, a symphonic with the symphonic orchestra, uh, I can come on the farm to make sure it was running okay and everything. You stop me, it slows me getting fucking set up. You dick. <laughs> uh, minute, good morning. How you doing, brother man? eyes can't focus right I think that's it Atriana Mac Atriana keep to have talking no because he'll bollock me later <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do Right, that's that. Right, let's fold that up. Is that folded up? Yeah, it is. It just didn't go down so far. Um, let's fold that up. And let's get back to the farm, wash it, and get the um, wrapper out. Coward. No, it's, it's not being a coward. It's called using your brain. called upsetting you know it's, it's just like you going to work and upsetting your boss you, you don't want to do it it's just not a thing you know <laughs> you're self-employed 
Yeah, so all you got to upset is yourself. I still think, now that Minute's in, I still think Minute should repay the favour and buy Snowburn or Fia. <laughs> That'd be funny as fuck. Uh, HR on Mondays aren't my favourite either. I saw your Discord post. I'm with you. Okie dokie. Right then, so we're heading back to the farm, guys. I think it's this way. Just head for the diamond mat because that's where the farm is. Uh, so we'll go in, we'll wash this, we'll get the wrapper out. You will be happy to buy it for her? <laughs> that will be hilarious. Um, where are we going? We're going left, aren't we? And then right. Should have known we never get far. last forever and if I had the choice yeah would not I be there those were the best days of my life try not to sing too loud while to sleep ain't no one listening complaining whoop hello it's probably my back wheels getting stuck on that yeah the back wheels are a little bit wide on this tractor guys uh sad thing today is trying to deal with the death of client's client yeah especially if you've been with them for a long time dude you know if you've been with them for a long time obviously the emotions are there and yeah it's a bit shit You know, it starts, you know, when you, if, if you care for somebody, like, I don't, I don't know if you're like a district nurse or something, you go around, just make sure the people's all right and stuff. But if you've been, if you've been with somebody for a little, a little amount of time, it doesn't just become part of the job. It, you, you become emotionally attached, um, emotionally attached to them. So, you know, it's, it's a thing that you, you start caring. And then, you know, if they pass away, it's like, hmm. And you feel, you feel like shit, same as you would, uh, you know, any other time. So, yeah, definitely, definitely with Minute there, sending sending love and, and thoughts and shit. There was now or never Those were the best days of my life Whoa yeah Back in the summer of 69 mm -hmm. Right, so here's the farm that we're going to guys and uh, it's also the sale point that we need to t bring the bells to uh, Don't get excited, I don't provide physio uh, I do all the admin, so uh, the real heroes. Okay, yeah, yeah. There we get you. Right, so we'll just do that. Jump out a second, because it won't take us long to clean it. Once I get my buttons in order. We'll just clean that. Otherwise handy, I'll throw a fit if I put it away dirty. I got a feeling that should be reaching it. Come on, get your fingers right. There we go. All right, so it's over here. No, it's not. Baylor's over here, dickhead. All right, let's go in this door. I think the wrapper's in here as well. Yeah, there it is. Minutes off on alert. See you in a minute, minute. See you in a minute, minute. <laughs> oh, jeez, I cracked myself up. Okay, let's see if we can get this bitch in this fucking hole. Uh, 
Uh, it looks like it's going in, all right. The tractor might. Yeah, she's in. La she's in. Well done, Matt. Good show. Move it, move it. Don't, don't give Thomas the cameras the inspiration of using his emotes. He's got emotes for every fucking thing. There we go. We got her now. We can't get out the door, but we, we, no, 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 no. There we go. All right, let's go and wrap some bells, I suppose. Uh, so first field is right. Let's go. Can't help yourself. Mm-hmm. Let's stole my car. Muzzle talk. Move it, move it. We paint the town. We'll shut it down. <laughs> oh, I can't. Where did you get that one? Uh, don't tell me, I don't want to know. Easy come, easy go. We gotta rock, 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 rock. Jump, jump, tap, 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 tap. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Saturday, and Monday. Party every day, pa 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 party every day, feeling. Right, we're near in the field. It's just this next one on the right hand side. Yeah, good, good night. Uh, no, you don't want to know. I've showered since then. <laughs> oh, jeez, can she crap me up, really, dude? Okay, open her up, let's, uh, I think it's Zed, I'm trying not to look at the thing, automatic dropper, let's go, remember to let it into your heart, one, two, three, Off you go, chaps. That's enough. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Brutimus, for the penguins. We do like them. Hey Jude. Take a
Yeah, you may notice, guys, I go around exactly the same way as I bail it. Oh, look, I missed a bit there. Don't look at it, Matt. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Here they come. So I'm guessing, guys, <laughs> the manager and Tav are going to be on this map today. Well, well, the farm manager is anyway. He's coming on. <laughs> not sure if they are going to be on this map or not. We'll soon find out if Tav comes back on. There's a sad song and make it better. Don't forget, guys, you can use the uh, channel points to make me shut up and stop singing. Uh, it don't mean I'll stop talking. It just means I stop singing. Um, that one's got a cooldown on. It's one per person per string. Uh, but the bitty one is unlimited. You can do the bitty one as much as you like, and I will just keep adding time. Uh, the forfeit for me is if I sing during the timer, I add another five minutes. And the other day, I added, what, 25 minutes because I wouldn't shut up? Um, only because the saint was playing some bangers. I mean, real, real sing-along songs. He's coming in with his clipboard to inspect your work and vehicle maintenance. Possibly, because that's kind of what Handy does. <laughs> nah, Handy's alright. He's... Na 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 na, hate you. Um, I'm gonna buy him a clipboard for his birthday. He's probably got one. Sticks it next to his truncheon. Keep it upright. <laughs> oh, All the shit I come up with when I'm not even thinking about what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that's to be honest when i used to be a dj that's kind of the shit i do you know um except for some weird reason i wouldn't swear or be suggestive or anything like that when i was out doing a gig but the shit that would roll off my tongue would be unbelievable i mean some real good comical stuff um yeah I mean, I was out doing a karaoke once, and there was this girl, there was this girl, I said guy, no, it was one of a guy, was it? It was a girl, and, or female, rather, and she was deaf, but wanted to get up and sing in a karaoke, which, to me, is what karaoke is all about. It, the karaoke isn't for people that can sing, or people that are near, like, near professionals. It's for people that just like to get up, have a jolly, sing a song, but have a good time. That's what karaoke is about. So she got up and sung, and it turns out that she's partially um, dumb as well. So she can't hear and she can't really sing either. I say can't sing, can't make words either. Um, so they were taking the piss out of her. And as I ended the song, I said, like, round of applause, and people round of applause, and people gave her a clap. And these two twats at the bar, I just whacked up a song which, like, probably anybody could sing. It was one of them well-known kind of oldie songs. And I went, oh, the next couple of people up to sing is these two jolly guys here who was taking the piss out of this girl for the last 10 minutes. And they sort of went, Vroom. didn't know where to fucking put themselves. We're not fucking singing. Blah, 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 blah. I went, well, maybe you should stop taking the piss out of everybody that are. That is trying to just have a jolly, like, you know what I mean? And, like, the landlord looked at me as if to say, what are you doing? And then all of a sudden, when I said my piece, he was like, yeah, if you guys don't... You know, come in to take the piss out of everybody, you can fuck off. I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck out, you got to have me back, sort of thing. <laughs> but yeah, fucking they didn't know where to put themselves. I've never heard all do that. Mix in the next song. That's strange. Normally it waits till it totally cuts out and flops it off. Hello. 
Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> well, I guess I guess that answers what Tao's doing today. Because him, him and Handy are now on the on the map. So um, yeah, going back to that story, if you didn't hear, guys. So the the management of the bar that I was doing the karaoke and actually backed me up and said to these guys that you know if they wanted to take the mick out of people who were trying to do the karaoke or sing on karaoke, then they can fuck off. So I thought fair play him, but it did kind of shut them up. But, you know when I said that the next two guys on there's these two guys who were taking the mick out of everybody singing, and they kind of went, we're not singing. Hello. No, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, where are you going? Get worried about you because um, she's still mouthing quite a lot. I know she. I know she's only just over six months, but she's still mouthing quite a lot, and um, which means that she chews a lot of stuff. I mean, we've got a teething ring, we've got this and that and the other, which she can bite and stuff, but she still chews the occasional wire. And since she sat down beside my pedals, I don't want her to chew that wire. Because that will... I mean, to be honest, if she chews... No, chew that wire. <laughs> I'm just thinking if she chews it, that'll mean I would need to replace my pedals. If I'm replacing my pedals, I just will replace the whole lot. Could be a thing. Hmm? Uh, mine's four and still choose wires. Damn! That little bit of lag, guys, don't worry about it. That's just saving lag. Happens once every half hour. It's not lag with my PC or the uh, server. Uh, the worst is when he is just doing it to get a t oh yeah I fucking hate that when you know they're just just mouthing stuff to get your attention because they know even bad attention is attention the trick is I know this is hard H and the trick is to totally ignore them when they're doing bad stuff because then they're not getting your attention whatsoever and then um really go into excitement mode and treats and stuff when they're doing good shit. Yeah. Um, oh, hello. It's hard. It's very, very hard to do that fucking, I'm going to ignore you no matter what you do, but, you know, in a minute, you're going to get yourself electrocuted or get. I'm going to give you a bloody hiding because you're, you're being a twat. But, yeah, it's difficult. Um... Uh, but he's insistent about it, or uh, he steals stuff. He'll steal something off the coffee table. <laughs> so I'll take it off him, and then he'll go straight back and steal something else. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, that kind of shit's difficult to ignore, especially because you sh you're probably like, I don't know, maybe what type of mood you're in at the time. You're sort of half trying to laugh, or you laugh your head off half, going, fucking stop it, you silly prick. But yeah. Funny. I love it when dogs do shit like that. But yeah, the best thing you can do, apparently, is totally ignore them. Don't even do fuck all. Um, eventually, it's when I'm on the, on the on a phone call. <laughs> Evidently, it's when I'm on a phone call. Yeah, so he's trying to get your attention. as if to say, Oi, you're not supposed to be doing that. Or, Oi, I want some attention. Why are you showing that, that thing in your hand lots of attention? You know? Why aren't you showing me it? Yeah. Mine does it like late at night when I'm chilling out to go to sleep. I always will do it because I play my I play on my phone or my iPad or something, and she'll come along and go, 
You go, what? And she goes, Oof. What she's saying is, Oi, you've been playing your game for all day. It's about time I fucking got some attention. Oof. That's what they're trying to say. But it's fucking hilarious. It really is. But like I say, you just got to try and ignore it, especially if they're tuning wires and stuff. Because like I say, any attention's attention, no matter if it's, no matter if you're trying to tell them off or not. We'll never change, and I don't love that. So we're still only on the first field, guys, for wrapping. Um, so it looks like I'm going to be going on till about midday, uh, wrapping and getting these bales in. Um, but don't, yeah, I'll be still on. Uh, and then we're going to try and get some radio done. So, um, yeah, we'll try and do some stuff like that. And then we got to go in, um, do some other shit. Do some housework. <laughs> I do need to put the what well, I do need to put the washing machine on, which is kind of compli complicated because we've got a brand new washing machine. Well, almost, um, and it's one of these ones with the the digi faces on that's got lots of bloody wash codes and all sorts of shit like that, and um, lots of groovy stuff. And it's knowing what buttons to push. I pretend not to know, and then I don't have to cope with it all the time. <laughs> Same with, same with like hoovering. I like oh, I can't use that. It's too complicated for me. I know you just push a button, but it's but it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Ironing don't need an iron or dryer or iron, iron stuff. Clever shit. And it does a good job of it in ironing mode. That's that's the remarkable thing about our dryer. Paige, hiya, how you doing? Every heartbeat It hurts with every heartbeat It hurts every heart Oh yeah One last time, guys, please, please, please click that link to Moza Racing. Get me more notice with them. You never know, things might start happening with them. Um, you know, even if you're thinking about just looking at prices, click my link to go in there. Uh, man, no complaints so far. Well, yeah, that's good. It's a good way to start the day. Uh, we will shortly be... I'll say that again. We will shortly be raiding into the Average Viking, who's currently on the farm of the Oaks. And don't forget, you can get uh, involved in the community farming guys here at uh, the SOAG community farm uh, click that link discord.gg for slash SOAG S-O-A-G and go into the farming section and ask for permissions um, the guys will be around uh, almost all the time to accept or deny or whatever they want to do um, to your uh, request um, we give you the link to the mods and codes and stuff to get in uh, it will not be done while it's live on stream But if you're looking for a community Discord full of gamers, guys, once again, there's the community link, follow with the a message for the uh, Son of a Glitch gamers. Um, as it says, we are a friendly over 18s group of gaming personnel. Uh, yeah, and we're most of the day we're in chat, 16 hours a day sort of thing. Uh, different walks of life, different communities, different countries uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, we're, we just... Um, even if you just want to pop in for a chat, you're not really playing games. You, you know, it's it's all welcome. Um, just read the rules, guys, When you, if you are new to the community Discord. So you don't go into the wrong chat. <laughs> right then, let's go off to 72. And wrap that field. We'll give it a couple of minutes for Tav to warm up his vocals, and then we'll go and read out. Like I say, I'll be on the farm till about midday, and then we're going to try and get some radio in, uh, just to make, you know, you guys, there you go. Sorry, I, didn't, okay. I didn't even ask your question. Shut the fuck up. 
<laughs> I love it. Uh, it's left ear, isn't it? Yeah. Best bunch of assholes you'll ever meet. Oh, 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 hang on. Best bunch of awesome people. <laughs> Best bunch of, oh, I totally misread that. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Chucky. <laughs> I'm a dick. Oh, hello. Just pull out on me, dude. Why not? I'm sure that's illegal, dude. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> well, thank fuck for that. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Look, come over here. What the fuck? Come over here, you fuck dog. No, that way. No, that way. There we go, that'll do. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, now there's another car there. Get out the way! I am out the way of this car. Why is it not moving? Oh, sh... Right, let's get you out of the way. Go on, move. Uh, the words in Ace Ventura, like a glove. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right, let's got that out of the way of that. We should be able to reconnect now. I realise you're using... I realise you're using the tractor I designed. Is this your tractor, Chucky, is it? GG's. Um... I prefer it without the chunky wheels, but each to his own. Right, guys, we're going to go raid into the average Viking. He's currently on the farm here at the Oaks. So we shall put you on the Be Right Back screen for a second. Uh, sorry, Be Right Back screen. We shall put you on the ending screen for a second. And we shall be raiding out into the average Viking, guys. Go say hello. Go use his raid emotes. Go smash his uh, Lumiere. I kind of like what you've not done to me so far, which I, th I thank you for. Uh, but we shall see you again next time. Bye-bye for now, folks. Uh, I give you the average Viking.